Buttons hit. Good. Glad you hit it. <laughs> it says we're live. Of course, you are. Are we live, though? You always want to double check, Zucker. Can you do that? Go ahead and do that. I mean, you hear us, people? Chat. Type one in the chat. Yes. The chat. I'm pretty sure they can hear us. Um, can they hear us? Yeah, they should be able to. Um, yeah, I, we're good. I see first it. and foremost, I just want to thank everybody that's here supporting the show, everybody in the chat. We say it every week. You guys are amazing. And uh, we just appreciate you very much. Thanks for uh, joining Real Deal Xbox Podcast. And, of course, uh, hit the like button on this bitch and share it out. Help us out a little bit as we get into the latest gaming topics. We got so much stuff to talk about tonight, including um, so much stuff that I don't want to spoil. But, uh, hey, we're going to do some introductions, and then we'll do some shout-outs. We'll get into the topics, guys. Uh, let us know your thoughts as we go. D-Batch, another week, another RDX. What's up? What's up, man? Uh, I went to the dentist today, and uh, yeah, I got a tooth infection. <laughs> but we're gonna make we're gonna make this work. And anyone that's been following my WWE uh, debacle, I finally got it to work on the Xbox Series X today, connected online with the latest update. So finally, I can play it on the Series X. So we got some good topics. So let's just get into it. That's that's great. I'm glad you got those 4K glistening nipples going. Bonzarelli, how you been, buddy? Uh, like shit, but I'm here. God I'm, damn I'm it. ready to go. Yep. Uh, hey, hey, shout out to Drone TJ, $5 Super Jesus. Hi, dealer. Hi, guys. Uh, this is going to be a fire show, everyone. Hit the like button. Appreciate you, buddy. We've also got xCloud Tim Dog. How you been? Very good. Happy to be here. We got a lot to talk about. Um, some really good news and, um, a big show. Mm. And then we've also got Zalker87, Baby Carrots Extraordinaire. How you, how you yeah. been, you little, you little bitch? I'm doing pretty good, <laughs> tiny bitch. I don't know how to respond to that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, you're just coming at me Caught out of you nowhere. Guard, uh, huh? You did a little bit, but, uh, you know, I'm that's, looking forward to talking about the that's financials. That's celebrating Xbox Greek growing. Easter and, and avoiding all your friends forever. Bro, I was not home for like a week, <laughs> and you even messaged me, and I was like, I just want to go back. <laughs> like, uh, I, I just wanted to play games, but, yeah, we got that, and then uh, Spider-Man at uh, 300 frames per second. I'm excited, man. <laughs> it's <a> good show. <laughs> Hey, Derp the Sherp, shout out to you. He says, uh, we got we to gotta snatch that. <laughs> what? No, the deal right now? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. We'll definitely get into that, buddy. Uh, but hey, again, thanks for those $5 super chat. Shout out to everybody that supports the channel. All the channel members, all the patrons, guys. I'm giving away games on patrons, patrons, multiple patron websites somehow. And then, of course, for channel members, every single month, around the fifth of every month, I've gotten around patrons a little... Um, they didn't like it when they did that shit before. So I figured out a different way through the, dis the Discord, and I'll have more information around the 5th of every month, uh, the latest AAA games, giving away that stuff for everyone that supports the channel. And, of course, uh, you know, hey, just everyone that watches watches the show, thanks very much. We've got uh, some patron shout-outs here. Uh, for those in the uh, patron tier, we got to give them a big shout-out. Dub Mobile, Ruben Almighty, Dave, Incubus, Ricky Fallon, Fought Lines, Not Silic, Bad Boy Live, Achievement, Nano Polymath, Zoradin, Costanza, KY Bob, Goose8402, Strike Khalifa, Assassin Lupa, Foreign Object, Gab Quiz, Tail, John Blue, Vagabond Steve, Real Deal, Neil, Suicide King, Tasis Genie, Michael Bowen, Guillermo Cavillo, All Might, Dark CMF, and Alfonso Hogan. Uh, shout out to the pimps. Uh, and also, oh. uh, shout out to Assassin Lupa. We were playing Far Cry 6 today. It was a, you know, that game's, that game's fun, man. When you're, when you're ramming, you know, cars off the road with your truck that has a, a a ram made out of half of a couch and part of a shed and the cars just fly 30 feet in the air it, it's just a you know it's a, a, a derpy little game it's kind of fun but uh the you're footage you're seeing this game right here no this is alan wake yeah. I've, I've been playing this and i gotta say i had a little change of heart about it somewhat not that i didn't like it before but i am enjoying alan wake uh more than i thought i would maybe it's the the 120 frames a second at locked at 40 frames like spider-man or maybe it's just that it's uh, you know the gun plays pretty good on it but you know we'll kind of get into that stuff um i wanted to start out with some some numbers uh tim was kind of alluding to this yesterday that we're gonna have some pretty cool uh, stuff to talk about on the show today part of that is xbox's well they've updated uh kind of the revenue stream and all that stuff right tim yeah they really had a big day today they had their financials and uh a lot of stuff came out of it um not only for this quarter but last quarter for supposedly they've been outselling PS5 
for two quarters now, and they're gaining share. Uh, for year over year, they're up 14% on hardware. Um, uh, I think uh, there's some notes in the uh, topics as well. If you want to look at those on your phone, yeah, I'm they're doing fine. good, chat. Yeah, they're doing they doing really, really good. Uh, they didn't like that their services and revenue increased by like 4%. Right. And this was driven by like Xbox Game Pass subscriptions, first party titles, and then it was offset by like a decline in third party titles. Xbox hardware revenue increased by 14% due to continued demand of the Xbox Series X and S. And uh, yeah, it looks like Xbox with the S and, you know, that's uh, turned out to be a pretty big uh, deal, you know, getting those consoles just out there. Not to mention, you know, the Xbox Series X is out there a lot more. We've seen it on Walmart. There was a big push on that. Mm -hmm. um, and they've talked about it. And people think like, oh, it's just there so you can buy it now. Those things sell out and they come back a day or two later. They sell out and they come back a day or two later, right? Like they're just getting more stock out there. And it's starting to become, it's, uh, it's, you know, if you look at the facts, it's starting to become a real problem for Sony if they, if Xbox is going to continually outsell mm -hmm. them. Yeah, and yeah. Every, yeah. And everybody keeps saying it's the slow period. So people are like, well, this is the slow period. Who cares if they outsell them? Like, I mean, do, do we have, like, short-term memory? Do you not remember, like, every single month during the Xbox One gen, Xbox was just getting their asses beat? <laughs> And it's like now it's not happening. Like, you know, you know, it's kind of weird. Because well, it's, back it's then, even more than that. I just, just <laughs> want, I want to say something. To you. I just want to say something. It's a record. They they have a not. This is a record for non-holiday, uh, uh, you know, months. For this is a record for a quarter. Just that's how big it is. Yeah, go, go and, and we gotta we gotta remind people that, that by the way, there's still a global chip shortage happening. Uh, they've done all yeah. this uh, during a time where it's hard to get a fucking toaster with a chip in it. You know, I mean, seriously, there are there's chip shortages still to this day, and there will be all throughout the year. And there still aren't able to be found on shelves very easily. Xbox Series X is I don't care what anybody says. I've I've still not seen one actually on a shelf. It's always been through some website or something. I'm not saying they're not, but they're not commonly available everywhere. Whenever you want one, just go grab one. Um, and it's kind of impressive, man. They're this is uh, what is this the best march in eleven years over a decade? And again, global chip shortage. There's a shortage on all sides. Well, Sony, you're obviously experiencing this as well. Uh, it's kind of a big deal. It's kind of impressive. It's, it, it's not even that. It's like it. Like if everybody remembers, like the consoles, like maintaining this momentum. Like last year or the following year was like two hundred and thirty eight percent surge in hardware revenue. This time last year, after topping the U.S. in dollars for like you know now March 2022, so not only are they keeping that momentum, but if everybody remembers, like March last year was the console, right? Like they came out, like everybody was like excited, things were going on, and it's like man, like they, they're they're keeping this momentum going from 2020 all the way till now, even with this chip shortage, like he just said, and it's just you know this is impressive, and this is what people wanted, right? Xbox to compete. Yeah, and Xbox yeah. to show up, and this is what everybody wanted. Every every gaming fan, if you're a true gaming fan, wants to see this. 100% facts. Zalker, there's a few awesome people in the Super J here. Can you cue those up while I give a few shout-outs? I do want to show more go. appreciation for the people to watch the show because I can't stress it enough, and I know that it sounds cringy to at least four of you in the chat, but, I mean, seriously, you guys show up and empower every fucking show in the community and if not for you, there are no shows. And and I know I say this at the end of every show pretty much, but uh, seriously, we do appreciate it, guys. You make well, it all shit, possible. I'll just stream by myself. Let me let me watch do it, let me give a shout out thing. to only on Xbox. We played a game of two K yesterday. I had, a, I had a almost a fifty point triple double. It was pretty fun, and he's really, really good at the game as well. It's awesome. Uh, also, Failed Pyromancer, who's randomly an Xbox fan now. Big shout-out to you, Dr. Dingonut as well, Astray Gaming, Nano Polymath, all the moderators, Boss Mod, Lethal Papa, Obi as well. Yo, Donnie was in a party with us. He didn't say anything. He kind of squeaked up a little bit. Assassin Lupa and uh, so many others. Drawn TJ, DeVoltas. We'll give some more shout-outs throughout the show, but you guys are awesome. Just appreciate you. That's all I'm saying. I got some of these. Hey. So we got Drawn TJ. He says, hi, dealer. Hi, guys. This is going to be a fire show. Everyone hit the like button. Facts. Um, you, you read Derp the Shirt. And then we got Hargeet. He says, wait, we started without the Phil Game Pass quote. Hit it up, Fonz. <laughs> uh, we got sure. Nano. We got Nano Polymath. Dear Jimbo, you had a good run last gen, but you seem to be struggling this gen in hardware and services. Maybe take a step back and enjoy Sunny Dale early. Paid demos should cover the retirement home costs. Love all RDX, Xbox, wins this generation. <laughs> Suck it, ponies. By the way, when he says take a step back, I just really want to say what Tom Cruise said in Tropic Thunder. 
So, you know, <laughs> take a step back and literally fuck. Take your a step face. back. Literally uh, fuck your own fuck face. Your own hey, uh, shout out to Nano. That's a nice, it's like a 90 year old super chat, man. I appreciate it, brother. Oh, wow. Yeah. Lord, Lord Star Killer, did you get him? Lord Star Killer. Yeah, I got him right now. Lord Star Killer, he says, thanks, RDX, for keeping it 100. Fire and cheers. Appreciate it. Thanks, buddy. man. Uh, and then we got Drawn DJ again. I went to Best Buy three weeks ago. They had 15 Series X's. Damn. Why don't you Steal take Best one. Buy and get one of those dollies and prop that bitch up and bring it over here? Yeah. Right. Because y'all getting all the good shit. Anyway, I don't know. I mean, Tim, did anything in particular? I'm coming to you because you, you know, you're on Twitter and you pay attention to these numbers a lot. And and sometimes you even sit outside of Best Buy and you and you you say MPDs Shut are unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, man. We love you. Man. I mean, what are, what are your thoughts on how success at the beginning of the generation, <laughs> Chad Partey? At the beginning of the generation, could you ever sit there and say, you know what? I think that in a time where these games are available in more places than ever, uh, and you know, you know, these consoles are doing so well during the worst chip shortage pretty much the world's ever seen. Yeah, man. It's, it's really big news because, uh, as we know, um, and, and we've detailed that, you know, they've been going through a, a, a pretty much of a drought since, um, you know, January. They haven't had much. They haven't talked about much. Uh, obviously, with the Activision deal, everything seemed to quiet down. But to put the numbers that they put up, we talked about. You said they broke a record. Uh, they're breaking records. Best, uh, you know, uh, you know, a month ever of March. They sold over five hundred thousand of five hundred thousand uh, Xbox Series units. Now it's one thing to 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 you know to to get these sales because. Um, you know, uh, you could say because of demand and stuff, but they're, they're keeping up whatever they're getting, they're selling out. So they're still selling out. Uh, I don't know why they're outpacing. I mean, they, they, by estimates, they, um, they outsold Sony two to one in North America in March. And that's with GT seven, uh, releasing now that there's a big question there for Sony and we went into it. Um, I don't think they paid for chip priority. Yeah, uh, I think yeah. Kind of I silly. already I talked know. to people about that. As yeah, you, you know, um, but th- that's a real big question. Um, but, but what we got here right now is we got some serious, serious growth, and they've been quiet, and they haven't had any of their heavy hitters come out yet. And that's kind of like, uh, you know, if they come out and Starfield's what it's supposed to be, and they're supposed to have this end of the year like they're supposed to have, Man, I I really think they're back. I think that that they're uh, they're back in America for sure. Um, I think mm-hmm. they're gonna, you know, and 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 now they're getting more of a global brand. And you know, what is it? What? It, why are they? This is much faster than I think even Phil and 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 they would think. Why? Simple, simple. Game Pass, man. <laughs> Game Pass is really driving the sales of the Series S, the Series X. And it's driving sales on, on PC. Game Pass is a smash success. Also, I don't think Sony is paying for chip priority as well. Like I, I mentioned earlier, this is just my assumption. I don't think that they can keep up with the uh, quality of chips that they need for the PlayStation 5s. Because remember, those each console has clock. to hit. It has to hit those high clocks in, in in order for it to be really classified as a PlayStation Five. And if they fail, they don't have a, a less powerful PlayStation Five where they can repurpose those chips. So I, I I kind of think it's at that point. Like I see some people on Twitter, they're like, "Oh, congratulations to Xbox for outselling a console that's never available in stock." Like <laughs> like the PlayStation is just so much in in, in higher demand. No, they're both in high demand. They're both selling out pretty much instantly when when they come into stock. Uh, Microsoft appears to be doing a much better job at producing more consoles, more. And that's why they didn't go with a higher clock speed, right? Because they needed more reliable yields and et cetera, et cetera. That that can be seen as as an oversight on one side or the other. You know, you you need such high clocks to the point where you need liquid metal or the thing will fucking explode. You know, I mean, it's uh, it's definitely something they chose to do to compete with performance, I, and as time goes, and that smart shift takes effect I more and more as the CPU gets tapped. And Xbox, and Xbox is also doing a lot better worldwide this generation than they did last generation. Uh, gamers' mind shares, it's 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 changed towards the Xbox brand, and it's a much better generation. And just imagine, they don't have anything really out majorly yet. Wait till all mm-hmm. of these studios yeah. start developing those games. It's going to be bananas. Sorry, well, go it's ahead. Not even, it's it. not even just the... No, no problem, brother. Uh, it's also the 
I don't think it's just Game Pass, and I don't think it's just the console. I think that it's the news. I think that people know now. Oh, uh, Bethesda is is bought by Xbox, and that that was everywhere, right? Like that was all over the news. That was on like CNN. That was everywhere. And then now, when you look at this, like the way it's selling at the beginning of this year, the Activision Blizzard thing, like put them at the at the top of the map. Like you look at everything, like Great. everything, the list, like they're on CNN, everything. And this isn't just oh gaming sites reporting this shit. This is global like economy mm-hmm. people talking about this stuff. Like seventy billion dollars is insane. Right, like that's 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 the whole thing. Like, how does this affect this? And then all these gamers and all these people see, well, Activision Blizzard, like, is Call of Duty exclusive? Is it not like and it's not even just like console war bullshit. I'm just saying, like, from a global standpoint, people are talking about Xbox and Microsoft on the news and casuals are seeing it. I think that has a contributing factor to understanding what's happening here. Because there are no exclusives coming out. Like they Xbox right now, like we'll be the first ones to call it. They didn't have shit come out. And they're not having shit well, come out for several months. They just released two months. big games, but yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I get that. But like, what I'm saying is, comparatively, like, like Grant, like Grant Theft Auto, or not Grant Theft Auto, uh, GT, right? Like Gran yeah. Turismo and Horizon is no matter what anybody says, that's that's you know, if not the biggest game coming out for Sony next to God of War, like it's the biggest You're game. Toxic. They still couldn't outsell. No, I'm just saying, like that still didn't push the PS5 to get more. What did happen more. to Horizon? Because it did just kind of. Now I don't even go into that. You know, long story short. I think Xbox as a whole, this has been a long time coming. You know, Game Pass is one cog in the machine. And that, you know, low end model, high end model, they released them day one for reasons together, right? Uh, everything's coming together. And somebody pointed out here on the panel, but this is without the big, big, big heavy hitters, but at least for the most part, uh, Starfield, everything after that that we've seen from Hellblade, Fable, and more. We're going to be getting these things going forward. And, you know, hey, while it's always nice to, to get Halo and Forza, we're all super excited to see a lot of those newer titles in action. You, you know, you can't deny it. And I think all that stuff collectively feeds into itself along with xCloud and, and all these services. I think it's pretty common sense why Xbox is doing so well. If people don't want to see that, you know, I think there's something to be said about that, right? I mean, it's almost impossible not to see. Lupa was telling me a story earlier about her son and how he discovered Game Pass and said, holy shit, I just, I'm playing Mass Effect for free. You know, and he, to him, it's for free, right? But really, it's just another game in that service at no additional cost. It all comes in. It's just bundled, and they're giving out Game Pass to start people off. It's really changing yeah. the way people perceive consuming their content. And I, I talked about this recently with uh, Web Dave. I uh, did a thing with him, and I'll, we'll be sharing that out in the next couple of days. But, uh, you know, we go into a lot of that stuff, uh, you know, just changing people's mindset. Stuff I've been saying for years, like Netflix, whether you use it or not, you take the $10 and, you know, it's there if you need it. But, again, uh, anyone else got anything to say? Fonz, I know we, we came from the Xbox One generation. We've seen the ups and downs. We've been through it all. And to see Xbox come out, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel, it, it's kind of, uh, it's really cool to see. He said, fuck y'all. Yeah. No, I, I'll Fonz ain't here. I, mean, I, I, I think he's muted, but I, I'll jump in if he comes back. But, I don't know. I think that this is this is going to be going on for a while. I think that... I think that, like, if you remember Horizon released in, like, you know, spring and so did God of War, like, all these games came out in spring and had massive sales numbers, massive everything, right? Like, oh, you know, 3 million units for God of War, like, all this stuff. So this isn't something new. This isn't a dead period anymore. Do you remember, like, gaming used to be dead in the summer or dead then and all that? And people were like, can we get games more than just the holiday season? That's mm-hmm. what's been happening. This year-round so, hobby, right? Yes, yeah, a re- year exactly. And it's it's this is a big deal. This is not something that's easy. This isn't something that, oh, it's just done and wait till the holidays come around because that's when it really matters. Well, Xbox won the fucking holidays too. Like that's that's like last holiday, they sold more consoles in North America. That's a big, that's their biggest market. That's what they had to do. It's kind of like home field advantage, right? You got to lock that shit down. <laughs> and that's, and that's, and like, I'm just saying like in every sports thing, right? Yeah. Lock that shit down. They didn't have that locked down at all. Not even close last generation. They so, won the last two quarters. Yeah, and then that, th- these last two quarters, these la- like everything that they've been building towards has been going towards this to actually becoming a competitor, being a market, sh- getting in that market share, taking some of the market share away, and yeah. that, and I think that when holiday rolls around and Starfield and all these other games start coming out, and if that you know from what you know we see with the Microsoft and Activision deal, like if that gets closed too with you know Call of Duty dropping holiday season Game Pass or something like that. Can you imagine like how much more P like, yeah. like it, it's, it's insane. It only it's gets worse from here. That's the moral of the story. It only gets worse for people that want to continue to act like Xbox are not doing big things. 
Uh, by the way, yeah. I gotta I gotta catch up on a few of these super chats. Now, if you want to start from the bottom, I'll grab a few of these at the top so we can knock them out quicker. Uh, Pavlon, by the way, he says uh, Project X Cloud. He tried it in his on his new car's infotainment system this weekend. He said it wasn't great, but it shows the potential. You're absolutely correct. It's only going to get better from here, and it's even impressive that you can even do that. Uh, speaking of of Web Dave Outbreak Podcast, shout out to him. Two dollars super chat says Dealer Fawn, Salker, Tim Dog, D Batch. You guys rock. Thank you very much, sir. Hargy uh, has one here as well. Shout out to Hargy Chaney. Uh, he's on the Game on Daily podcast with David Jaffe a few days ago. He says he says all the pony narratives have been have backfired. Xbox is releasing new IP and old IP, uh, make, making meta <laughs> making meta records. Yeah, because they are consistently seeming to break their own records. Now suddenly PS Five, uh, it's just everything keeps going up, man. Two quarters in a row. Game Pass growing. PlayStation is having to follow Xbox's formula. And that's something we've been saying for a while, too. Jim Ryan crawled through that window and read the diary of Phil Spencer. And he's like, hmm, yeah. good idea. We got uh, we also got Drawn TJ, $100 Super Chat, man. He said, just wait for him the end of this year and beyond. Let's see Hellblade 2, State of the K3, Forza Motorsport, Avowed, Starfield, Exomeca, Scorn, Indiana Jones, Fable, Contraband, Elder Scrolls 6, and don't forget the next Fallout. This is the best generation ever. Man, and add to that, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think you said it, but Doom. I mean, there's so there's there's so many things that they are going to be we're working on. And big shout out to Drawn TJ, seriously. Seriously nice guy. I was in a party with him recently. Uh, shit, thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, we gotta get we gotta get moving forward. Fonz, I don't think he's back. I wanted kind of his perspective on it. He's been through the trenches like a lot of us, you know. And this next topic was supposed to be his. It's about PlayStation Premium's weird, uh, weird thing they announced. Uh, uh, I got you. I got you. On that. <laughs> I got you. Like this is like I don't know, man. Like this whole PlayStation Premium, and then they they're forcing developers to put two hour demos out there now for everyone. I don't know if anybody knows this. But, you know, in the chat, I'm pretty sure a lot of you do. This is already a free thing on Steam and PC. Like, multiple, like, companies do this for fucking free, not behind a paywall. No, Now, so is, this, is this a separate build, or is it kind of like EA Play, where you can just agree to buy it later on? And secondly, I was told, I think it was Colt that said this, uh, that, that the two-hour mark, the two-hour trial, or whatever, starts when you start downloading the game. I think it's right when it's installed, not right when, when it's installed. It. So, not even when you launch it. We need we need more context on that before we can harp on that because I, I think that's kind of yeah, weird. Man. But is it? It's a separate build or the same build where you can buy it and just keep going? Obviously, I mean, I wouldn't imagine it could be any other way in 2022, right? But I mean, uh, what, so what are they doing? Sure. They're forcing every developer that that has a game worth over 30 bucks. They said to to release uh, some kind of demo in the service or something like that. Yeah, like stuff like that. This is why I wanted to come to demo. Fonz because I said, Fonz, this is your topic, brother. You, you, he said, he said, I know all about it. I'm gonna look into 100. percent Don't even worry about it. Don't ask bitch ass Algar. And I said, okay, I won't. Well, fuck you then, man. <laughs> you do it yourself. <laughs> I'll, I'll touch it just before before he comes in. I gotta say, Xbox does this too, in the sense where if you play a game for a certain amount of time, you don't like the game, you can get a full refund on the game. So it's like a. It, it, I don't understand why they're locking this behind. It's the also paywall. a two-hour window, correct? Yeah, it's 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 so stupid. And like, if I would have to assume that it has to start from the moment that you play it, because if it starts from the moment you download it, that just that just doesn't make sense. Yeah. And I just don't understand why Sony makes everything so complicated. Like, I have about one month of PS Now that I haven't redeemed yet because I heard they're going to give you some type of ratio. They haven't told us what the ratio is, like how they're going to divide it up i'm hearing different things like today i heard that hey people went out and they bought like four years of ps now to 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 merge it with ps plus so they bought like four years of ps plus four years of ps now and they're hoping that they merge as one and you know they get the full time well yeah now because I'm they just saw xbox ask zero questions to anybody who had xbox live or game pass they said guess what that just turns into three years of Game Pass Ultimate. They asked zero questions. They were not worried about how they divided it up or what they gave yeah. consumers back for whatever membership they were part of. They just said, fuck it. Blanket, blanket it, Xbox Ultimate, Xbox Game Pass for the same amount of time, no questions asked. And uh, why are Sony worried about this shit? Why are they fucking picking pinch and pennies here? Just do it. Now, 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 we're, now we're hearing that, oh, if you had, I don't know, I have to I have to confirm this. It's just hearsay at this point. But this is what they're saying in some of the forums, that if you have one year of PS Now, so say you have PS Now till 
2023 and you have PS Plus till like 2026, it'll automatically convert all of it till 2026 that you have PS Now. So for those guys that went out and bought like fucking four years of PS Now to convert it, if this is true, that really sucks for them. And it, it all comes down to Sony not being very clear with their message. Like, what about those of us that have PS Plus and we don't have PS Now, but we want to upgrade? What's the upgrade path? Like, what's, what's the conversion rate? I don't understand why Sony can't just come out and tell consumers how and what it's going to be. It's almost like they don't know per se what they're going to do to like the last minute they're trying to see how much money they can get and what's the best advantage for them opposed to the consumer uh, just it's just just do what, just, just do what you've been doing and just copy off xbox and just say fuck it here's here's playstation premium you know like who cares how many members is it and how much will you really lose and no one knows but it's a good gesture i mean xbox didn't ask any fucking questions right they included x cloud but for no additional cost i do believe after that I mean, yeah. uh, just do it. It's not a big deal. I mean, you got a fan base that is very, very dedicated over PlayStation. I mean, these guys will literally uh, argue with you about if crossplay is good or not. I mean, it's pretty bad. So, like, th- just give them what the fuck they probably deserve and uh, just give them the upgrade for free or whatever. They already pay for it. And and this stupid locking the demos behind a, a paywall. First of all, your service isn't anywhere near being as good or as robust or as consumer friendly as Microsoft's Game Pass service. So you need to entice people to switch over. You're not announcing, you know, if your games are coming day and date. Although we do see notice of that, you know, Sony. I don't know if it's so. Explain, so explain see. to the people like when it comes to the demos. They are locking demos behind PlayStation because because you got to remember developers stop doing. Remember back in the day, you could just go and look at the fucking free trials and the demos, and you could download yep, shit yep. and try it out. That developers stopped doing that because they felt that once they released demos, it, it decreased the sales. Apparently, they had a fucking time machine. And they 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 released uh you know demos in one reality and the alternate one they didn't, and they sold more in the alternate one. So that's why they are less inclined to make demos these days. Some you know games are releasing some free trials, but. Sony are doing what with demos and, and they're locking it behind PlayStation Premium. Yeah, which is stupid. Like, listen, if you want to do that, there's two ways you could do it. Fine. If you want to keep it in premium to, to two hours, fine. I'm okay with that. If you also allow the, the, the regular PS Plus subscribers that are in the lower tiers to have like maybe 60 minutes of a, a, a trial of the game for, for there's them to too much. There's well, too well, much going Fonz on. Is, this Fonz is, is back and this was Fonz's okay, uh, topic originally. Fonz, what, what, what is this? <laughs> what do you batch? <laughs> well, no, 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 no. What I was going to say basically is just chime in and say it. Well, it's it's two hours is is a trial. OK, it's not really just a demo. Uh, yeah. Um, But even for two hours, I, you know, I, I just like even the whole 10 hour thing with EA access. I, I, I think it's dumb to to pay for that. But it is what it is. You got to pay for this two hour things. But the thing that really irritates me the most is the fact that. It sounds like it's required of developers uh, that have their games at over $34. So any any game that's over 34 bucks on the PlayStation, uh, they're required to make a two-hour two hour demo. Is that uh, what they said? Excuse me? That's what it says in the uh, article, that they're required. I'm sure somebody in the yeah. chat can, can double search that three well. months, yeah, And they have three cool. months to get it done. <laughs> And, and yeah, it has the, the to be put up. Hang on, left one's finished. And, and, and the two hours has to be put up there for 12 months. You cannot require developers to do that. That 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 is insane. And if you're saying that, you know, demos in the past have hurt developers' sales, why, why would they I mean, they that's apparently what this? publishers think, yeah. Yeah, okay. But why would they want to do this? I mean, because they, weird. They, they're for, like, hey, pay me, pay me for demos because I don't want to do day and date. I mean, why else would they do this, right? I mean, I know we're talking, we're on Sony right now, but hey, again, to both say, same coin, two different sides. But I mean, this is their response that, to Game Pass, and it's just a letdown. You, you guys, I mean, yeah. panel here, don't you think that's insane to yeah. require all the developers to have games over 34 bucks to do this? Well, it's it, over 34 wholesale, so it's really 59 Oh, okay. Shit. Okay. So That's it's fine. Really Fifty nine dollars. But Thank every you, AAA game content. developer has to put a two hour demo on the PlayStation Premium service for Nobody what? For PlayStation? Even benefit? if the game isn't on PlayStation Premium itself. I, I don't know. Damn no, it, Jim if, Ryan. We oh, need answers. Okay. Okay. That is true. Only if it's in pre- PlayStation Premium. That is true. 
but you shouldn't require that. Nobody should be forced. To I think we should just do no, like no, Sony. No, no, I think we should just is, do like Sony podcasts and not give them the benefit of the doubt at all and say, no, nah, they're they're fucking us over hard right now. What I'm just saying think? that right now, like the demo thing is dumb. I think that making it required, you have to have it up there for 12 months. You have to give three months. The developer has three months before the release to get it on there. And then it's mm -hmm. two hours long. When in reality, it's like we've said, multiple companies have done this before. And the worst thing is, just like back of Pat, they're putting it behind a goddamn paywall, <laughs> which is like, why the fuck are you doing that? Stop putting uh, shit behind paywalls. He's man. angry, it's, Chad. Or for the players or for the payers. Like, what are you doing? Like this is the stupidest thing. Like Steam's a like, like so Steam has the ability to provide free demo to your customers so they can try before they buy. It's up to you whether the demo will be beneficial for your title. But there is a couple of things to consider. Quality. This is generally a good thing for developers to put demos up there because people that play demos tend to buy the game after from our analytics. That's Steam. So it helps them. But at the end of the day, they don't force it. They just tell developers, hey, you should do this. And there's no amount yeah. of time limit the demo can be played. You just yeah, provide the demo. Different. You just divide you just provide the demo and the content ends, right? You just say, hey, this is where the demo cuts off, but you can replay the demo as much as you want. That's literally what Steam does for them, for consumers. So again, this whole thing about like, you know, giving this to console gamers and stiffing them yet again, just like paying online to play multiplayer shit, is the same thing. Console players, people that play games like us. This isn't shit you should be supporting. Fucking be a true gamer what are you talking and about? walk it's away pro, from it's that. It's pro-consumer, bitch. I'm calm down. It's not pro-consumer. Putting shit behind a paywall <laughs> is fucking annoying. Yeah, but that's the problem with their, their fan base is um, literally no pushback. Uh, you know, they'll say that we're saying this because we're Xbox fans. And they're saying it's pro consumer. There's a that's, poll up, chat. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know the I want to know the chat's thought. Is PlayStation Premium's service uh, right for you? Do you agree with it? Do you like the demo policy? Yes or no? I just feel that the such a shitty poll. It, <laughs> it really just just compared to 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 Game Pass. No uh, it, it's just like this is a real joke, and. Um, depending on the pricing and the rumor pricing of, huh. of of the family plan thing that that Xbox has gotten, that might be the same or close to the price of what uh, this pre premium tier is for PlayStation. It, it gets even worse. It's like I just don't. I don't know. I mean, hey, hey, when, hey by the way, Tim, uh, the real failed pyromancer is standing up. He says uh, <laughs> these devs. These devs create demos to show their publishers. Stop it. It doesn't take any extra time. Oh, like shit. Trying to say. No, yeah, what I'm trying to, like, what I'm trying to say like is enforce. Nobody's some people are saying we're not supporting demos and rolling their eyes. It's like, no, that's not what we're saying. No, no, we're no, saying no, no, make no, it no. available for free. Yeah, like, like, hey, like, it, always, down, like down, it always like, has been, like, right? And like, 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 this is the point, like, right? Like, we people say shit about Game Pass. That's why I'm bringing up Steam. I'm not trying to be like, okay. oh, Xbox, like, oh, it's just so much better. Like, yeah, we already know it's better. That's fine. The service is better. Everybody knows that. You have to be blind not to know that. We're oh, talking shit. about just services around the goddamn area, the, uh, the market, like Steam or even Epic. Like, they have free demos, no matter the price, yeah. not $34. Oh, and you don't have to go into one of their subscriptions and pay more for the demos and it, back and pat. Exactly. It's like, dude, but, what are you but, doing? But the and, worst part and, about it is, is this. Fail Pyromancer. Does every game out there come out with a demo? <laughs> every AAA game. Do, does every AAA game have a demo for consumers? No. There's a reason for that. Some don't want to put out a demo. So to require yeah. them to do so is bullshit. And that's why I'm calling and, it and out. And you know what? I it's think bullshit. this is a policy that will probably change because, of, uh, as we always cover, path of least resistance. If you want to go into PlayStation Premium, you're going to get paid, right? Uh, but if they also say you then have to provide a demo... You know, I don't think there's just some developers who probably don't want to fuck with that. And, you know, I'm not saying it'll be the deciding factor, but it is it is something we've heard developers talk about demos being extra work and stuff before. But I don't know. It, it, you know, the weird thing is the pre the precedent that, that it's setting, right? Like uh, you're you're putting demos behind a paywall and that's something I don't agree with. I don't like back and pat yeah. behind a paywall. We've uh, we've talked about this all with the Xbox before and, and how we obviously wouldn't approve of that from them. But we do approve. Of over 1,100 people already watching this live, guys. We started about 30 minutes ago. We appreciate you guys showing up, hitting the like button, letting us know your thoughts. I told you guys we had a lot of, you know, decent amount of Sony guys watching, right? Uh, we got 6%, 8% of the chat 
that agrees and they like the the fucking the paid demo policy. So yeah. you know, hey, hey, shout hey, out to the Sony hey. guys watching a, a Xbox I'm, podcast. I'm one of those, I'm one of those people. I, I'm one of those people that hit yes because f your polls. Damn it! Hey, did you? Oh. Hey, so so failed Pyromancer responded and he said, "Of course, devs don't want to make a demo." <laughs> that's my point. If they don't want to make a demo, why force them to? So that's great of Sony to force them to. The, the well, polls. Yeah. We're not going to argue with Fail yeah. Pyromancer. That's not what we're going to do on the show. But, you know, failed. he can feel however the fuck he wants. He failed Pyromancer. You know, he decides what damn socks he wears every day. Uh, we got 271 votes on the poll. And we, it was up there for a few minutes. We appreciate you guys uh, checking it out, all the real people in chat checking it out. And obviously, uh, you know, it's it's an interesting topic. I don't want to harp on it forever. Zalker, you mind queuing up a few of these Super Chats so I get this next uh, topic going, buddy? Yeah, yeah. Let me look through what we have. Uh, so we got... Uh, Lord Starkiller, he's a member for 19 months. He says, Xbox showing what can be done with good messaging, great consoles, along with Game Pass. And we are only about 18 months into this gen. Oh, shit. Yeah. And uh, then we got, uh, there's another one. Hargeet, I think. Oh, yeah. So we got Hargeet. He says, sorry, the chat's fucking zooming. <laughs> we got Hargeet Shawnee. He says, the trial policy applies to all games on the PlayStation Store over that price. It wouldn't make sense oh, for man. only games in the PlayStation Plus service as you just yeah, download would. the game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so then we got Lord Starkiller. Agree with Zocker. There is no valid reason to put demos behind a paywall. Just make the demos to show you game's potential, and that's it. No requirements or paying needed. Poor job, Sony. Exactly. Um, so then we got <laughs> Assassin Lupa. Remember, for 30 months now, it's deplorable how Sony are treating the devs. By the way, hit the like button and share it out. This real deal chat, guys. <laughs> nice. Appreciate we got it. Dar- we got Dark CMF in honor of Luca going off and the Mavs taking a series lead. Three copies of the NBA 2K2022 oh, series console global coming out. Wait tonight. Hit the like button. The Warriors are better. Get. <laughs> hey, yeah. Shout out to Dark. Uh, he's keeping up with the playoffs. So the fucking Nets got swept like bitches. <laughs> yes, they did. Uh, Kyrie Irving went to go hey, fly off the blur- hey, face of the earth. Hey, uh, flat earth. Uh, Drawn TJ says, Fonz, wake up. Uh, he said that when you were gone, buddy. And then uh, obviously we got. Uh, Another one from the always fun, Splendiferous. He says, he says, I like how you just spell stuff on purpose to fuck with me. He says, what if they play the demo and then hate the game? That's always a possibility with a demo. And then obviously yeah. we've got uh, Mean Old. Mean old tro- Go ahead. Yeah, we got Mean Old Trent, member for three months. He says, love you guys. Keep it up. Thank Thanks. you, buddy. And we got we got Ruben Almighty. I play PlayStation 1, 2, 3. Now why pay? It's pro-consumer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, well, fuck it. Pay for your games again. Who wants to play old games slash buy the PlayStation Classic? Uh, Do it. Let's go ahead and move forward, though. Again, amazing chat. Uh, always got some good insights. So good to know 9% of you are smoking crack and you think the demo thing is a good thing. Uh, but no, seriously, though, uh, you're, yeah. allowed oh, to right. have, you're allowed to have your own opinion. You know, so whatever. And fun, now, Fonz will come to your house and stab you, but, you know, you're allowed to have your own opinion. It's fine. I'm trying to get Fonz a little. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to MBG for yelling pro consumerism on Twitter about this. Too. Oh shit, who's that? Fraud. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey, uh, a fraud. You know what's something Fuck weird? Him. I called him out before and, and he blocked me for it. He, whatever. I asked for his gamer tag because he was he was shitting on games he never played, and I asked for his gamer tag and he blocked me for it, and I just felt like I was special. Halo. He never well, tried it, never liked it. That's why. Shout out to MBG. We know he listens to the show. He got to get entertainment somehow. Uh, also, hey, we got to give a shout out to Sony's VRR, which is kind of a clusterfuck. And I promise we got something Xbox related after this. We're very self aware. But this is this is worth talking about. Sony's VR solution, which is cool that it's happening, but it's it's kind of a game by game basis being supported by the publisher. But you can then toggle it on, kind of like boost mode, from my understanding as well, for other other games that are not guaranteed to to benefit from it. Or, or you know, am I the only one who looked into this at all? This is yeah, kind of weird. Where Xbox's this. solution is a system level solution, but set it and forget it works for every single game through a certain you know frame rate range. Me- What's with this, D Batch? What the fuck is yeah. happening? Remember all the time I always harp how you know there's a difference between Microsoft and Sony on on a software level because uh-huh. you know they got they got windows you know they got their apis under lock this is another situation where sony's just really shitty at software <laughs> this should be implemented on a system freaking level not a game by game level for so for for you to get it working efficiently apparently the devs have to get it patched into the game 
then you can go into the system and you can force it, but it doesn't guarantee that all the games are are, are going to run smoothly. Now, I haven't really tried it yet. I've read some reports. Some people say it's working okay. Some people are saying that it has hiccups. But the fact that it just isn't so streamlined as Microsoft is telling. Now, I'll be honest, like, this is their first iteration of it. So I didn't expect it to be smooth out the gate. There's going to be some woes. But they've had a long time to prepare for this, man. Like, they've had a really long time to prepare for this. This is why it's taking them so long, because they this is this is what they've come up with. Yeah, and it's 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 a pretty poor solution. I'm gonna say it's better than nothing, obviously. And I think and I think once it is working efficiently on, on the console, I think it's gonna make some really interesting videos for these comparisons because you know both of them are gonna be running uh, you know VR if Sony gets it running you know efficiently mm-hmm. on well, most games. Is, it's it's is gonna make the these comparisons. I don't even know they're gonna matter at that point because you're gonna be getting smooth frame rates on both consoles, but. I think it's good that Sony has it. I'm glad that they implemented it on some of their TVs and their new TVs. I just wish that it was just easier on... Well, first of all, I wish it was no effort from the fucking developers that it just worked the way it works on everything. I'd like to know more just, about that because well, it, it kind of reminded me of DLSS where they said, you know, NVIDIA... I don't know I don't know if this is how it works, but I'm just saying it's what I thought of when developers... To get DLSS support, you got to send your game into NVIDIA and it's got to get basically approved and run through whatever the fuck they do to it. And that's how you get officially supported by DLSS. When Sony come out and say, you know, these, you know, these titles are officially supported, we got a, a, a toggle for those that aren't. We can't guarantee things. It kind of reminds me of a similar thing. I don't know. I'd, I'd like to see some tests on this. I think it's interesting. I think it's good that it's happening. Uh, but, you know, ultimately, it is, it is really weird because we've taken Microsoft's solution for granted, really. The system level, yeah. how everything's just set it and forget it. But, Fonz, I know you've got a few things to say. Greg, th- Greg E3Egg says, my, my telly don't support VRR, and it still won't after this, Greg. But, I mean, hopefully you get one soon, buddy. Hey, yeah. Uh, basically, I just wanted to say about the VRR. Um, are you sure, D, that it's not that it's not a great version of VRR or that it's just uh, – it, it, it's the games either the game supported or not and and that's that's the issue that people are just trying to force games into it because there is a mode that you can force a game into vrr and Listen, that's not working v- very well uh, vrr on the pc uh, on on the xbox series x it just toggle it on and it gives you know the dev just needs to put a toggle to on yeah but on, yeah on, yeah on but the, the game is supported the game is supported that's that's yeah, the reason the yeah. games aren't supported on the PlayStation 5. Not well, all you of them. You got to remember BRR BRR is just basically the GPU telling the display when it's ready to hand the display a frame. The, the display will refresh and sync with that frame. It is a software issue and either they've got resources allocated to something else or you know, they're they're offloading this somehow. I'm not sure. It's very curious. I never heard of it even working this way. On PC, yeah. for example, if you want VRR to work or, or FreeSync or G-Sync, you don't have to worry about it. You just uncap your frame rates, turn off V-Sync, make sure that the uh, option is enabled on your monitor, and that's it. You're good to go. This should be just as simple, and unfortunately, it, it's not. Now, I think they'll get it somewhat good over time, but, uh, you know, it's, 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 a, it's kind of a rocky start. And I see some of these guys on there also talking about, oh, my God, my Spider-Man is running at 120 FPS. And it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's not running I saw, at 120. I saw, I saw that, man. <laughs> and, and Jabbar is still arguing with people about it running at 120 frames. I'm like, this is a stupid fuck. No. Like, that's, you know, just, hey, well, just, we're not allowed to say they, though. We're not allowed to talk about other people on the podcast you know it's Listen, like man, it's that's like, just the refresh rate of the monitor they, yeah they, they even said spider-man is running between 30 and 40 fps now the the uh monitor refreshing at 120 fps it is a benefit because you're going to get a lot lower latency and believe it or not that 40 over 30 is going to give you much better perceived smooth motion so it, it, it is a good thing but the game's not running at 120 fps guys come on yeah, that's. No. I don't even know how he got to that uh, conclusion. Uh, but uh, you know, also I don't pay attention to those people. Hey, I just hear stories and get sent tweets, man. That's that's just what I do about this stuff. Uh, we do got a shout out to almost uh, 1,200 people watching live, guys. If you haven't, consider hitting the like button. Over 300 likes right now. Appreciate you very much. Let's try to get closer to a thousand for the, end of the show. And of course, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Sony's VRR solution. Are you happy with it? Have you tried it? Does the toggle actually work? And uh, 
what the fuck were why did they do it this way that's my main question him dog doesn't know do you i have no idea i mean i think uh it's good that they have some sort of uh a solution um but uh you we're gonna have to find out more about what you know maybe the digital foundry will do something i think they're looking at it but there is some caveats to it uh compared to where microsoft which had this in you know that's where i find it funny i saw the tweets too of like spider-man and stuff like that you know xbox series xbox one x had vrr so this is something that we, you know xbox fans had had since 2017 so it's not really you know i mean it was more of a bigger deal when they didn't have vrr for uh you know two years into this generation or almost two years that's more of a story than just getting it now i mean you know they're bragging about it or some of the guys and like you know like bro like you haven't had this the whole generation (laughs) yeah i I just looked it up and it says there's there's only 14 games that supported on the ps5 officially for vrr yeah. Right, so I I don't know if 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 like let's say Elden Ring comes out and or just let's say you know it's Elden Ring comes out next week, is it something that the developer is has to enable, or <laughs> is, is it something where they could just turn it on, or if it's on, it's going to work? So I mean I I don't think the, the, I think it would be a bad it would be bad if. Some games come out and it's yeah. on Xbox and not on PlayStation. That's a great question because I'd like to know that myself. What is it about these fourteen games that are officially, uh, you know, and they got it, the rub. what enables that for the VRR and and why isn't the other games in, enabled for VRR? That's it, what I'm it's, saying. It's like strange. never before has it been. I, I, not to my knowledge anyway. Has it been a game by game basis ever? It's always been the GPU or the hardware talking to the display and how that works. That that's why this is particularly interesting to me. Yeah, and really they weird. prove thought- that with their little toggle that doesn't necessarily guarantee things. But you know, hey, the, half the back and pad <laughs> library at launch for PS5 had a had a warning symbol <laughs> next to it because they couldn't guarantee things. Uh, they can't guarantee things with the SSD half the time. You know, I think that most of those probably work pretty well. But only on Xbox sums it up quite well. Sony's VR is the dollar store general of Xbox version of oh. Xbox's VR. I think the I think other question the, the okay. seven okay. seven the seven of the titles are first party titles or made by like you know Deathloop all that like that were Xbox or PlayStation exclusives that have VRR. The other ones are like you know bigger games like Call of Duty, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, and like Dirt Five and and Destiny, and then Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. So they try to get the most popular games and then also their first party games to get them. It's kind of funny that Horizon Zero Dawn doesn't have it though. My question, though, on on these games that are supported of the fourteen games, do all these fourteen games run VRR perfectly? That's I, what I, I, don't know. I, I, don't know. I think they're going to look into. That. I think, listen, it, Digital Foundry is definitely going to have some 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 uh, type of testing on this. Um, I, I think John alluded to it anyway, um, but yeah, it is weird. Uh, well, it's not weird. It just shows the prowess of Xbox that VRR is either there or it's not. <laughs> What do you read? You know what I mean? You know, what no, I mean? The, the prowess of Xbox. Uh, laugh. No, no, I mean, but it's honestly, it's like it, it, it's it works. It just works. And then with like Sony and everything else, it seems like this generation, uh, you know, wh- whether it comes to like you know uh, having games, PS4 games to PS5, that whole mess that they have when they were making fun of smart delivery. And all that stuff, like, this is just another example, even though it's not that bad of an example. But, like, you know, there will be a shit show if there's a third party that, you know, doesn't put VRR on on Sony and has it only for Xbox as so it works system-wide. I mean, it, so, yeah, it shouldn't, uh, it shouldn't be, be on that, the, that the publisher or the developer. It shouldn't be on them. Yeah, so those are the questions that, that have to be answered, but... Uh, it is good that they've gotten it nonetheless, but, you yeah. know, does it work for Elden Ring? <laughs> uh, it, uh, if it did, no. that'd be big, because well, that game yeah, benefits it, a lot. It'll work, it, yeah, it'll, work it on the Xbox. it'll work unsupported. You can force it. But it's not guaranteed, uh, yeah, so do we know that it works? I don't know. This topic well, isn't that great. Said. I just want to move forward. If you, if you oh, read the article, it actually it. says that the unsupported games, it, that you will still get screen tearing and... So it doesn't work because that, it's literally there to get yeah. rid of things yeah. like screen tearing. So I think yeah. it's just so game it's, by game, and like they said, they don't guarantee the toggle. Uh, but that doesn't mean it doesn't work for 90% of games. you know. So we got to give them the benefit of the doubt there. We'll see. Ruben Almighty says, I play PS1, PS2 for free. Now pay, and it's pro-consumer. 
Dark CMF giving away a copy of NBA 2K Series Global. He's giving away <laughs> codes for NBA 2K in honor of the playoffs and the Nets getting swept. Uh, we've also got Fires 71. He says, y'all are the best. Uh, he says, y'all are the best. Have Ultimate <clears throat> and PS Premium and Game Pass for my mom. Still have uh, barely touched my PS5. Xbox for life, PS exclusive. Like, yeah, yeah, definitely, buddy. Thanks for watching, man. Appreciate you. And damn, Zalker, fucking help me here. Out. Help me out here. Shit. We got Lord Stark. I got. I was waiting for you to stop talking. <laughs> uh, Lord Stark Killer. He says Sony's implementation of VR shows how much better Microsoft is at implementing things like VR into their consoles. Uh, just you know, they get there quicker, I guess. Uh, Garuda Intruda says we're in the calm before the storm for Xbox. We're going to be yeah. drowning in quality games. And our wallets won't suffer. Undeniable value. Hardware sales will continue to reflect that. A new golden era. Damn, yeah. you need to you need to chat more often, sir. You, there's oh, so yeah, much yeah. knowledge right there, and just common oh, sense. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I, it, I, it is. I, just, just, just had to say this, and I didn't say this. I, I think it's well deserved that like people on this panel, Xbox guys, just Xbox community in general. You know what? If there's any time to gloat, not I wouldn't even say gloat, just to be proud of of the system and say hey th you know there were years where xbox was made fun of where xbox was actually you know um you know talked about how it was going to go away and laughed at and joked around and people really gave it no shot the only people that were like really supportive of it were people here in this panel and other podcasts uh and other xbox fans on twitter and and, and elsewhere you know those are the only people with faith in it it, it just it really is crazy that this turnaround has happened, and and you know what? I I don't. I, I'm not saying that you should be you know, throw it in anybody's face, but you know you definitely can say, hey, this is really impressive, and uh, you know, be be you know have a little, you know, uh, it, it is redeeming in a way because there was just so much shit that Xbox fans had had to go through. And you know all these people that were making jokes and stuff. But without that stuff, up. though, we they would just shut up. we just wouldn't have the Xbox we have today without all that all the hardship created. You know, yeah, what, but what I we have we're, today. we're a different fan base. I, it's just the, the stuff like today, like you know, like Phil Paramount, so he's going through like a, a midlife crisis right now. <laughs> Leave like, this man know, alone, so, all right? No, but I'm, like I see him on his tweets, like ah, Xbox is so great and this and that. You know what I mean, like. <laughs> Just shut up, bro. Well, so like, you want him to hate on Xbox too? No, Shit. I, I, I love me, me and failed the cool. It's just, just like, come on, bro. You, you, you realize, read the reading on the wall. Just give credit where, where it's due, and be critical. One thing about so uh, Xbox fan base throughout is some, we're, we're some, of, some of we're them. critical. We're critical. Trust me. I mean, you can't even get some people to admit quick resume has problems with online games. I mean, somebody yeah, had a problem with Colt. That, somebody but... had a problem with Colt because the motherfucker was just saying, hey. Well, uh, online games have an issue with cookers in them, and he's like, you tried to ratio me. It's like, what the fuck, man? Like, you get a little following yourself, and you turn into a fucking asshole. Like, Colt has talked a lot about what, you know, Xbox does great, and he's talked about a lot, what it needs to do better, and same here, right? And, and the just, Halo community, it just depends though, like, on the fucking time of the year when these people think that criticism is acceptable and when it's not. And I'm looking for consistency, bitch. That's what I'm looking for. Well, I would say the majority of the base is, is very critical. Yes, and I think so. So, so something like if you look at Halo, I mean, people can make, you know, obviously it definitely deserves criticism, but I mean, those guys, the Halo of the community just itself is a very rough group. But, you know, I mean, it's just in general. Uh, I think Xbox fans have always been kind of more real, and you know, like just with the PlayStation Plus, that that's dog shit compared to Game Pass. Don't even compare it. Tim, stop it being toxic. Even you're being you know the opposite. You're being the opposite of Crayola markers right I'm, now. I'm, not, I'm just being. I'm just being honest. The fact that you can't, you we can't even compare. Can. I, we can't even compare uh, their offering to Game Pass because it's nowhere near the value. Look, it's just look. Like, when we talk about Sony. It makes some Sony guys upset because they find themselves watching us more than the Sony podcast. And we can't be having that shit. You know, we've already got 10% of people that, that like the demo uh, thing. We found that out. <laughs> we just, uh, hey, you know, again, we're just here to talk about everything that's happened over the past week. And we're Xbox first, right? So we, from our perspectives, if you don't believe that, then I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Uh, we're just talking about it, how we would talk about it. Uh, if you think it's fanboy shit or not for you, you know, fuck off. You know, hey, hey, not, you know I'm what? not going to. I'm not, not really, not really, not really like, fanboy shit. Like, no. I just want to say this, right? 
a lot of these guys that think they're the self-righteous bullshit journalists out there and all these fucks, they talk about the same shit in DMs. We're just doing it publicly. We're no fucking different. We're just more, you know, probably a lot more entertaining. So I'll just say that. I'll just say that. Well, listen, you see what Colin said? Did you guys see what Colin said? His real shit take on Game Pass was, Mm -hmm. you know, and and, and Colin's the biggest fanboy of them all. Stop being toxic, Tim Doc. Not being toxic. (laughs) Being real, motherfucker. (laughs) And that's the bottom oh, line. Oh shit! His, just don't co so. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> his his uh, his take on that there is a portion of gamers that now are refusing to pay for games and waiting for them in Game Pass is the shittiest take I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> and the only reason why he's saying it is because he's not an Xbox fan. Yeah. You know, the fact of the matter is, is like we've talked about this. If I don't spend money here, I'm spending it there. And, uh, you know, I, I, I guarantee you I put my library up against anybody's. I mean, I've spent so much money. Now we just got to get you to play that shit. Tim, Tim. Yeah, you know well, what? For, <laughs> Tim, for, say, for saying all that crap, you know what? You get a negative five journalistic integrity. Yeah. <laughs> That's a little inside no, but, joke we have. No, no. But just, just the, the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, this, th- that's just fanboy takes. And, and, it's, and, it's, and it's, it's rampant. And it's always been the case. And there's definitely people who play size, but just overall, Xbox. This is a little. If there's a time for them to shine a little, it's okay. And and here we are. I mean, I, I, I like I said, it, it's it's good for Xbox fans and just Xbox in general to be where they are. You know, there's been a lot of shit talking and shit over the years that's went on. Big shout out to uh, Suicide right. Kings man in the chat. He sees us out there. You guys ask for better, obviously. Big shout out to Risk It for the Biscuit. Those guys run a podcast. Shout out to Genetic Peter. Shout out to uh, Only on Xbox, Papa Smurf. Shout out to you, brother. Uh, DeVoltas, as well as Tryhard fan. You know, that's a, de- a definition of a Sony guy. To me, like when I think about a, a genuine Sony guy that, that actually asks for better, you know, uh, anytime someone says something about Tryhard fan, I always try to stick up for him because uh, I've seen this guy, you know, on, you know, it just depends on the fucking day of the week, you know, who, who you run into, man. So, again, shout out to everyone who is uh, watching live Assassin Lupa, even Fail Power Master. It's Timmy. All of you guys, you're amazing. Uh, hit the like button if you haven't. We got uh, over 1,200 people watching live. We do appreciate you. We want to get on to Xbox. Uh, yeah, there's a there's a new update on the buyout going on. Did you guys see this? Yeah, Anybody? I saw that. Yeah, so, saw Zachary, yeah, go the, ahead and add, there's some uh, there's a quote in the, the comments here if you need a quote. Yeah, yeah I got it. Yeah, it says, uh, so, in the latest earnings report, Activision Blizzard has entered that both Activision and Microsoft Board of Directors have approved the Microsoft buyout. The deal is expected to close in Microsoft's next f- fiscal year, ending June 30th. Now, obviously, like, you know, there was a couple of rumors going around that some of the board members at Activision were stopping it, but you know, obviously people were, you know, talked to and everything. So it's remember uh, people retweeting that little group that was trying to stop it and they were like zero point zero six percent. Are you talking about I are you like talking about the people that, that are messaging Biden and shit? They're like, Stop this. He's like, Who the fuck like, is this? Yeah, like, I mean, well, no one cares who you are. <laughs> it's, uh, so it's like uh yeah, so that's going on. But also, um, you know, during that report earnings, I mean Activision Blizzard was down. Uh, yeah. Call of Duty, you know, Call of Duty uh, Vanguard sold really like not, like still one of the top selling games of the year, but man, was it down! And uh, you know, Blizzard's announcing a bunch of stuff and bringing out things. <laughs> Failed, it's like fuckface. it's kind of insane, man. It's Failed, kind of insane it may have been down, but it was the top selling game of the year. Which yeah, one? Yeah, and it's and it's uh, Vanguard, Vanguard Call of Duty, but, but that it was still the top selling game. Yeah, but it was still it was still year. down. It was still like yeah, like, it was astronomically but... down for like. Isn't that nuts? Money. So oh, like yeah. Vanguard is as horribly as it was. And, you know, no offense if you like Vanguard. Mm-hmm. You know, don't get mad. But I'm just saying, as as poorly as it was received, you got to bid it. It was still the best selling game of the year. That's fucking crazy, yep. man. Yeah, yeah, it's stupid. That's yeah, how big Call of Duty is. I mean, just they love Call of Duty. Yeah. Got a call and and duty, and World War II laser sights. But yeah, it's looking I mean, like Xbox... the, it's looking like the buyout might happen though. I mean, like from the board of directors, obviously they got to go still through the FTC. Um, but you know things are starting to calm down a little bit, and it's you know by summer end of this year we'll know what's going on. Hey, uh, antic. Yeah, don't say that shit in the chat, brother. Don't be saying that shit. That'll get you banned real quick. Uh. Yeah, we're not in 2014, all right? We're not we're not in uh, dumbass land anymore. So, uh, yeah, I mean, Activision Call of Duty doing super well, even though it wasn't the greatest Call of Duty. It kind of gives you high hopes for Modern Warfare 2, 
and the revamped Warzone, right? Oh, dude, I can't wait. It has I can't to. Wait for that. It's a, it, it's a Infinity Ward's making it. That's an update to the engine. It's an update to everything. Like they're making, they say they're making this for you know the next generation of uh, yeah. basically next iteration of Call of Duty. And so they've been working on it. It's already been tested. Apparently, there's some people testing it. And so we'll see what it's what it's all about. And it is gonna you know push the Warzone, the next Warzone game, the next Call of Duty. I think which is. Modern Warfare 2, it's the sequel to the best-selling Call of Duty, uh, apparently of all time, was that Modern Warfare 1. The 2019? So, and yeah, apparently. Because it was the best fucking Call of Duty of all time. It was yeah. so good. The campaign the was better so good. The two teams, though, definitely. What is the thing with Godzilla and King Kong? It's an event for war. They hate though. each other, and they got to kill each other and rule the world, Tim. Yep. So it's going to be like a... <laughs> they fought like, in the water, too. Yep. It looks good. Yeah. This is a pretty... Kong got his ass kicked. Watch the movie. Don't give anyway spoilers. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like Halo's ending all over again. It's like, it's been 50 years. I'm almost through the first mission. Oh, hey. <laughs> uh, hey. You'll always, you'll always get that one person. I, I, I put up a poll about <laughs> if Tony Soprano got shot uh, at the end of uh, the series. <laughs> and this is 20 years old, this series. And somebody was like, God, thanks for the spoiler, man. I'm like, <laughs> Dude, I'm like, it's 20 years old. Just tweet out, you I will die at some point. Thanks for the spoiler, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to know. I just don't want to know. Hey, that's the question for the chat. If you knew when and how you were going to die, would you say yes uh, to that uh, proposition? Oh, I would never want to I wouldn't. Know. I wouldn't because, you know. No. Just I want to know. Fuck that shit. No, fuck that. You don't want to no, know. Preventing that. It. They're like, you fall down some stairs. Well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, jump in a bubble suit every time you go down the stairs. <laughs> fuck this shit. <laughs> I ain't messing around. Uh, but hey, we got we to gotta move on to a new topic. All right. Uh, Activision thing, like I said, I never believed in the 50-50 the thing myself. I think it is going through. Yeah, I think it's, uh, you know. The, no, it is. It is. It's not a thing anymore. It thing, is. It was. No, that 50-50 that thing was from my tweet, and it got, it got misconstrued by me because it was Jesus somebody King. telling me. No, it was somebody telling me that. Listen, usually when, when investors feel like the, the deal is going to go through, the stock starts to creep up 10 points, <clears> whatever. Well, the stock has been... Um, like it's 77 or it hasn't moved really. But what I was told was investors are thinking it's 50, 50, but doesn't mean it's 50, 50, yeah. more like 70, 30, 80, 20, that other analysts said the 50, I'm throwing 50, numbers out there, Tim. Fuck. No, the 50, 50 was shut 70, up. 50, 70, 30, <laughs> uh, the Soccer, 50, eat a baby carrot. The 50, oh my God. 50, 50, 50 was my thing, but it was. It was my fault because I, I I talked to somebody who you know is an industry person and they were saying that's just the investors and they know shit. Mm. So they, I doubt this deal is going to go through. This is just too good to be true. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh god, god. Uh, Tim, that's just the best video ever. This guy's oh, yeah. loving it right now. Um, yeah, I mean, hey, Activision this guy loves it right now. <laughs> the Activision, <laughs> it's uh, it's definitely a thing. Hey, did you guys know there's a new uh? PlayStation 5 game in development, a Naughty Dog QA tester has listed an unannounced remake project on his LinkedIn profile. The studio uh, is thought, <laughs> apparently, the studio is thought to be nearing completion on a Last of Us remake. Could that be a Last of Us remake? It could be, what, what else could they remake? I mean, oh my God. It's the remakes These. and the remakes at this point. No remakes. Oh my gosh. Unless God, it's Gears are, 2, gonna... you know, I'll take one of them, you know. No, I or don't Dead want Space. any more remakes. I, like expand on the universes that you have give us a new i even give us a new ip at this point man naughty dog because you know i have faith in whatever they create is going to be good but at the same time i don't want to remake i don't want to keep yeah. playing get up on your mic there over. d-bitch i don't want to keep playing the games that i've cleared already <laughs> over and over and <laughs> he was over across the again, fucking man. room <laughs> god damn <laughs> he's like get up on the mic hey, i'm over here i want to order a slurpee <laughs> <laughs> what a order of a slurpee, you stupid fuck! <laughs> oh, shut up to D-Batch. Oh, oh my god. Man. Oh, what what man. No, <laughs> no remakes, man. No, re no remakes, man. Give us some give us some new IPs. I'm not excited for, for literally any remake unless it's like a fucking 15-year-old game that I haven't revisited in a long time. So, so you just said it yourself. Unless it's one you want. <laughs> Everyone's oh got that remake God. that they're like, I will allow it. You know, like, I mean, where, where the fuck's it stop? You know, I mean, yeah, I'll take a remake of what else? 
constitute a remake, man. No I don't way. know if it's Last of Us. No, but yeah, it doesn't. Last of Us don't yeah, need no, another La- remake. Well, no, Last of Us is getting a remake. They've already said it. It's getting a remake. The yeah, I'm just game, saying right? that they don't I, need. I, they don't need a fucking remake. No, they don't. Uh, they fucking don't. And they're doing they that remake for PC, up. by the way. It, I mean, that's mainly the purpose it, of it. And, and you know what? My dumbass will fucking play it again. You know, because <laughs> I, I love the first game. That Damn is it. the Last of Us to me. That's it. That game. That's it. You don't like Joel's kneecaps getting blown off? I. But here's the thing, though. I. I think it doesn't. While it doesn't need a remake, it's it's still something that I you know I would play because I, I I'm an idiot that way. It, uh-huh. but, but I'll play it. it. But but it's not but needed. It's not needed because it it holds up. The original game still holds up well. I I don't I, understand. Watch it. it be watch it be something that we don't even expect, like fucking Jack and Dexter. <laughs> Watch, oh, watch geez. it be something like that, man. Because they they had three games, like you know, like three, like you know, pretty successful games. And Jack and Dexter back in the early two thousands, that was the Naughty Dog, right? That was them making that. That was published by <laughs> yeah. Sony. Watch those fucking games get remade. Oh, watch, watch, man. Watch that happen. I, I would laugh. Hey, Mike, Mike Lowry, shout out to you. Said Fifty Cent Bulletproof needs a remake. <laughs> Blood in the sand. Oh, it's, it's the same thing with Dead Space. You know, I'm going to want to play that, too. Uh, but, yeah, I don't want all these remakes. I, you know, it's it's make some new IPs. It, 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 really, it really depends on it, too, because, you know, to fair play to what Dealer said, it's like what I want. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I will allow like, it. Max, Max Payne is being remade, and that's a game that I think actually deserves to be remade. Oh, Remedy did say they are remastering those games, right? Kind of like Alan Wake. Uh, Rockstar actually gave them permission to do that, did they not? Yeah, I think so. Because Remedy yeah, sold they, the they, they IP of Max Payne yeah, yeah. to, uh, oh, to Rockstar. What? Yeah, you know, somebody said in the chat, and I heard this rumor before too, and I think there's a lot of credence to this rumor. I think the remake of The Last of Us, they're going to change part of the story. I, th- I think they're going to they're gonna tweak some stuff and add Abby more and stuff. No. And I don't want that. If they do stuff like that, I'm out. I, I'm, no. I'm fucking What out. if there's another boat not scene? That. Why, why, don't you, why don't you give us a game that takes place in that time and an alternate part of the world where fucking abby was involved or, or fucking whatever somebody else in that you can bring into the listen guys nothing but positivity hey, true, here about true. sony y'all need to quit being toxic i'm yeah, just saying i'm just saying i was the one that first bring up like i'm tired of these remakes i want new ips and, and then you said you wanted the starcraft me. remake or you bought the one I didn't starcraft. Say, no no they just you even bought the starcraft it. remake bitch yeah. it wasn't a remake it was literally a remaster that's it like, that's hey, even worse cool bro game, it's even it. less time put that's into it, it. And i don't need it i don't need a remake I'll, give me a starcraft 3 fuck okay well we all know you take that game that, that you loved it remade 100 give me god of War dlc at least you know something God of War DLC. I'm getting it later this year, DLC. bitch. Oh yeah, if you missed, if you missed last DLC, show, sure. Chad. If you missed last game. show, oh, we bad, went in bad. on some some uh, weird fucks that went in on David Jaffe because he he said something about God of War DLC or some shit. So if you missed last show, you got to catch it. It's around the 20 oh, minute mark. It's it's pretty fun. Yep. This guy's loving it right now. This guy loves it right now. Uh, Zach, you want to catch up on these super chats real quick? <laughs> yeah, let me scroll all the way up. <laughs> Because the chat's not here, so he might as well be I here. Want, uh, I want to order a Slurpee. <laughs> Shout out to everybody yeah. watching the show, guys. So we got, so we got <laughs> lemonade. So we got Riskit. He says, "Got to get naked and jump in the shower." Listening. What the fuck, Riskit? The waterproof uh, bitch. We, yeah, he's a. We got Hargi Chani. The Last of Us re remake. Get more money edition. <laughs> oh my god, they're gonna put it in pre- Chris Prius, R. Prius premium premium demo edition. What the hell was that? Chris R. Toyota I Prius would, premium. Yeah. I would legit be excited for a Jack and Dexter remake. Not gonna lie, more so than other Last of Us remake. Man, mm-hmm. Jack and Dexter was actually kind of cool back well, then. Well, yeah, I Last of Us already been remade. I prefer once. Jack and Dexter to Ratchet and, and, and Clank like, for sure. And like I uh, said, it's an old game that you know we're not so refreshed. I want a Slurpee. Yeah, and it, like these are early two thousand games, like two thousand one, two, three, and four, or something like that. Uh, so we got Dark CMF uh, deordering Slurpees at Burger King since nineteen eighty six. <laughs> NBA two K code right there. Uh, shout out to Dark. Life on that fucking Slurpee thing killed me, bro. I didn't mute my mic. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> oh man. Uh, we got we got. Oh, you didn't get Fire seventy one. He says agree on one hundred percent with Tim, and it would be nice if I didn't have to pay for cloud saves. Uh, yeah, I remember yes. talking about that on the show, and guys were telling us that we were. Uh, as usual, these Sony guys that don't even know their own fucking console apparently didn't know that you had to pay for PlayStation Now to get cloud saves and you have to do it manually, right? Is that still the case? Yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, he said, fuck, just uh, lost his Horizon save transfer uh, for his living room to his bedroom. Yeah, that shit has got to be annoying. Like, uh, And that doesn't fit 
the future business model of gaming at all. You want to be able to transfer this stuff from system to system, device to device, just like Xbox have been doing since 2013. That's something we've always given them props for. Shoot. Hey, this is the first time I've seen him in the chat, but shout out to Crazy Louie. Crazy Louie. He's crazy. Hey, He's Primo. Crazy. Shout out to Primo. He says, great show, guys. I uh, think they'll make a discless X. I mean, there's no uh, telling, man. You want to get that price down in, in five years, six years, when you're really trying to sell a slim of the X, like hard, hardcore, right? Uh, you never know. I don't think there'll ever be a dickless, I mean, discless uh, X, never. Steam dick. I don't think that'll happen. Uh, Splendifer says, Tim, don't use bad words with a Z and don't be toxic. Oh, my God. <laughs> shut then, up. Hey, uh, yo, Donnie you says, sack boy, sack boy, a big adventure. Didn't know that this game was based off of a true story of Jim, <laughs> Jim Bryan. <laughs> he, you know, uh, t- something about testicles. Yo, Donnie's uh, going to be in Savage today. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Risky for the Biscuit says, Sub RDX loves this community. And the um, the podcast, he said, PCAST, don't throw me off like it. Podcast is truly the golden age of gaming. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, I think I got him. I think. Danny yeah. Passion, let's go RDX. Um, okay, following. Okay, yeah. Okay. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and move forward. Uh, we got we to gotta do that eventually. And I think it's a good time. Uh, there's, there's some rumors out there of Microsoft. <laughs> I wanted to really get... Well, hang on. I guess we'll come back to the one above that. But there's some rumors of Microsoft. All of a sudden, Ubisoft is, you know, once again trying to dodge corporate take- takeover after corporate takeover. EVMOs in a <laughs> in a in a panic room somewhere. Uh, yeah. Did you guys hear people saying there's some articles out there? Microsoft interested in buying Ubisoft. I mean, personally, this is something that uh, I don't think is going to happen. But uh, private equity firms are reportedly interested in buying Ubisoft and, and trying to acquire them, which has instantly exploded all of these rumors and articles coming from some other podcasts and stuff, uh, you know, that Microsoft would possibly be interested and capable of buying Ubisoft. How much are they worth? Off top, we've talked about this before. I think they're worth uh, like, like, $10. Bucks. like $5. I think they're worth like up to upwards of I think ten billion, if not fifteen billion, like with the way prices have gone up with buying Is studios and it? stuff. Wow. Well, they don't they don't own don't like. The, 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 I mean, I think they're like like you pay double or whatever the hell it is, right, of what they're worth, and I think right. it's like six billion. All right, well, so well, go ahead have, and go they, ahead and buy them, Zalker, and heard a fuck right. I have I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a loan. <laughs> So they're they're a lot different than than say like an Activision. Um, they have twenty thousand employees. Uh, you know they have a lot of. Um, I think they have debt. Um, so it, looking at them, they're they're. I, listen, Xbox is not buying them. I can tell you that right now. Um, Ubisoft uh, Entertainment net worth is four point six billion. Point six billion. Yeah. So you would be right. Will you double that? So it's a ten. Yeah, I know I'm I right, bitch. A lot more. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I was so thinking many properties 20. there, though. No, but it's, it's really crazy. That's why why the Xbox deal is under such scrutiny because it's seventy million, a billion or sixty-seven billion. The next thing closest to it was like Rockstar. It was like thirty <laughs> thirty eight billion. It wasn't even close. Yeah. So that's why mm. you have so much scrutiny. Yeah. It's kind of crazy to activate again. It's it's nuts that they're worth that much, but that shows you how big Call of Duty is, the mobile sector. You know, there's a lot uh, in play there. By the way, if you're just tuning in, this is Alan Wake running on Xbox Series X, the remake, remaster, whatever the fuck you want to call it, 60 frames. It's not bad, man. The gunplay's pretty good. I'm getting some Chivos and, and just having some fun. Um, by the way, uh, uh, Ubisoft do say that, uh, well, it's kind of coming out that the, their whole portfolio they are not immune to the, the 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 happenings of the past year. Uh, the next Far Cry, Assassin's Creed, Ghost Recon games are further out than Ubisoft had planned. There's multiple reports coming into that. And, you know, they just released Far Cry 6, right? I don't, I don't know how close that ever was. But and Dawn, Dawn of the Ragnarok. They yep. brought out a couple things, but everything, even uh, like Writer's Republic, uh, Rainbow Six Extraction, a lot of the games they brought out like have not done well, like sales wise, including Far Cry Six, which I thought was awesome. How much did that and sell? I don't know, but it's they they don't even report it. 
Like that's the that's so how bad. If they like, don't report it. They just fucking it. didn't do well. Is that what you said? Well, I mean, I mean, yeah, you know, Horizon don't say, Forbidden don't, don't West say style. didn't do well. Zachary might have did well. Horizon Forbidden West style. I mean, I remember, 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 Microsoft didn't announce Halo numbers, and we were like, "What the fuck? What's going on here?" And then they said twenty million, and we're like, "Okay, well, okay." But yeah, they, they Horizon they Forbidden West didn't bones. said anything either. So I think that game sold decently. Well, I think I think so. Like Far Cry Six, I mean, I'm sure it did better. I think it was one of their like. I think it yeah, did better. I think it bitch. did better. No, I think it did better than like Extraction and obviously like all the other ones. But like, it was the only shining thing. So overall, their shit went down because of that, right? Like that's like Dawn of the Ragnarok did not sell well, like report at all. And it's just like stuff like that. Like Ubisoft's going back to the drawing board a little bit and pulling back on like what they're doing. Like they they stopped that whole like remember Defiant. They're def- defying that shooter. Like they went back and were like, "Oh, maybe this ain't the shit that like, we need to be making." This is trash. We had beanies in here that gave you plus five to defense. Yeah, they promised a bunch of division updates and never did it. Uh, they also Skull and Bones. Remember that uh, Sea of Thieves type game? Yeah, that game is still in like development hell. Uh, Beyond Good and Evil that was uh, announced what three years ago. Haven't heard anything oh, about yeah, it. I forgot about that. So I uh, listen at this point. Um, I think they're more of a risk. Now, this isn't in the this isn't in the uh, in the in the chat notes, but uh, there are there's a, uh, something coming out right now that possibly Warner Brothers is looking as we talked about many times on the show uh, to they want to make three billion up in debt, so they are considering <laughs> selling some of their studios, um, not the whole division, but uh, uh, like I said, as we talked about. Uh, a couple of times, some of their some of their uh, studios maybe IP, and that's something where I mean that's much more of a, a buy for me or for Xbox to look at than say something. Ubisoft is just bloated and has a lot of issues. In my I think all well, this the, the, all the this funny. acquisition shit is just kind of bloated. Like I'm I'm in the camp that's like, look, you could literally buy. I don't give a fuck anymore. Like, I just want to see the games that you've been working on forever and the games from the studios that you already bought three or four years ago. I want to, you know, we know the games are coming and you can buy all the studios you want. And I know that that's great for the long run. I'm not saying I'm against it, but I just don't care right now. Like, I just want to see games from anybody that they bought at all. Like, that would be nice to have some of those come out, you know? Uh, And I think they agree with that. That's why I feel kind of tackled that head on. And I like that level of transparency, but uh, yeah, I gotta give a shout out to Spooky Sprocket, man. He's in the chat. He changed his damn name. That's why I've hey. that's why I missed you a couple times, brother. Uh, shout out to you, Spooky. Only on Xbox. Neil B. Splendiferous Tool Man. We've got uh, uh, Brutal Bone. I'm guessing with the silent G. Gnome. I don't know. Uh, shout out to you, buddy. All the channel members, Dark CMF, and Risk it. All you guys, everyone in the chat. Thank you very much. We're gonna go ahead. I, gotta, I don't know. I'm gonna, Anything I'm else? Gonna agree. I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with you, dealer, on that. Like. <clears throat> Like everybody's talking about new studios coming and all that, or like you know, can we just get fucking games from the studios you got? Like from 2018, a lot of those studios haven't released anything minus Playground Games. The people from Bethesda, we haven't gotten one game from them yet. I know it's coming at the end of the year, but like that's what I'm saying. Let's get these studios that you already have given us something before we start looking at everything else. Like Activision Blizzard, all cool. Like I'm excited, you know. But you know, let's see what you're doing with this stuff. Let's see what you're doing with the stuff that you have under your umbrella already, or about to be under your umbrella. Like Ubisoft sounds all great and. Warner Brothers, you know, sounds all great, but then there's reports that Warner Brothers wants to make, you know, a big push for DC games. Like they think DC games are being under- underutilized and not released. That's from the Discovery That's merger. Because they don't fucking make anything anymore. Exactly. Hardly. And so the guy, the guy that runs it, literally says that he says we are underutilizing a lot of our IPs, especially DC, because they could be multi-billion-dollar IPs and, and, and multiple digital fronts. Now think about how they pay that guy millions of dollars a year just to say we don't make any fucking games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like no, he's like we don't make any games and we don't make. He's like we don't make movies. He's like we make movies, but there's nowhere near the success of Marvel or nowhere near like anything. He's like we need to fix that. Like that's what he said. Like gaming and and basically movies, and that's what needs to. As happen. long as they don't adopt a cookie cutter fucking template, you know, do your own thing, and if it ends up being funny or fucking whatever, just make the shit you want to make, man. I thought that last Batman movie was pretty good. That was uh, and I forgot what cinematically well, shot super yeah. movies were like. You know, when I saw that movie was shot. I was like, damn, this is nice, man. The reality, though... Uh, Arata, a lot of... Fucking dumbest the, movie. Shut the fuck up. The, the, rat, trash. I mean, the, the reality, though, of Xbox actually doing anything in this time period uh, <laughs> Red with a going on <laughs> is slim to none. I, aside from maybe certain affinity, 
Uh, the acquisition talk, yeah, it, it really, there's no, in my opinion, use at this point because they're hanging by a thread hoping that they can get this Activision deal, you know, by hook or by crook, get it done, and then possibly look at act, uh, acquisitions. Other than that, they're they're not involved, in my opinion. Uh, shout out to uh, Bone Slave. He says, at least update the last Batman for Series X and S. Yeah, update all three of them shits. 60 FPS. Uh, it's kind of kind of odd, you know. Why why don't they do that? It, it it does boost sales. Shout out to Scrub Nurse as well, man. Big shout out to you. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move forward again. As Fonz eats his toenails in the background. Uh, yeah, they're they're all a little bit behind. Uh, and that's nothing new. Xbox are expanding Game Pass. By the way, uh, they say it's great to be able to bring PC Game Pass uh, to the amazing gaming communities in Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines. Thailand and Vietnam, uh, they're bringing they're they're they continue to expand this stuff to more and more regions. And as we all know, they suffered with that last generation. They're doing a pretty damn good job here, uh, Tim. I mean, you you remember last generation? It was fuck everyone but me. You know, we're staying here. And now they're they've sent more units out to more countries than ever, and seemingly are doing quite well there. You remember they had the tiers that pissed a lot of people off and was absolutely hard. Explain horrible. those for people that don't know. Uh, so the tiers were when Xbox One release, they did not do a global release at one time. So they came up with this genius idea where they prioritized uh, countries uh, based on size and, and the market uh, to when they were going to release the console. So tier one was like UK, uh, United States, Canada or whatever, and then like tier two was then like Germany, uh, you know, and and so on. And what happened is is that you piss people off because you know nobody wants to be you know tiered or put in that that type of position. So yeah, they've come so much from from that from that, and and just even this generation they learned from that because they had a worldwide release mm -hmm. and, at, at really know. good prices over there too four fifty yeah. four hundred fifty pounds. Which a lot of people did not expect. Usually they, they go higher no there. Way. Sony, as a matter of fact, in 2013, uh, a lot of people forget they didn't launch a PS5 even in their home territory for another month, I think. Yes, you are correct. But they, they I mean, the, 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 uh, the things what Xbox was doing with the tiers was like really bad, though. It was like three months I don't think out. it's bad. You only got so much supply. I get it. I get why. Um, but it didn't. It didn't go over well. I remember yeah. a lot of those people in those countries were like, "Screw you, we're getting the PlayStation," and you know. But I know that some people, in the, not as many, but some people on the Sony side said, "Fuck you, I'm getting the Xbox," you know. And, and maybe they stayed, maybe they didn't. But right. I get why Sony waited a month. They wanted to tackle the biggest market. I get why Xbox did what they did. But I also like the fact that they decided to try to do more this generation. You know, and come back yeah. with more consoles and more regions. And they actually didn't they focus did much on North America as they did last time. Yes, we talked about that. Remember we were talking about uh, NPDs <clears throat> and people like, they're going to win the first NPDs and we reported here. And, and I had known that they had strategically, uh, with the their supply... Um, Diversified their bonds. They, they, they wanted to, to, to make it more available in other areas, so... They knew that they would have sales in the United States, but they didn't want to oversaturate, which Sony actually did, and that was debatable at the time. You know, Sony was like right up from the gate, took North America, you know, by storm for PlayStation Five, but that was a strategic move with Xbox because they had limited supply. That they actually sp spread it out, mm -hmm. and uh, I think uh, you know they they with that localization and stuff like that. Xbox used to be just an American company. That you know, uh, they still have some areas that they have to do with like with language lo location, local localization of games and stuff like that. But they've really come a, a far way of becoming more of a global brand, and yeah. I think they could. They're they're even pushing it further, and this is the type of stuff you like to see. You know, releasing in in, in Vietnam sounds silly but it's actually cool they got you yeah know, i mean they got big cities over everywhere. there and stuff it's not like the fucking movie rambo right like they've got uh, a, a bunch of big cities no i'm just saying like you know people perceive 
places like Thailand and it's Vietnam it, from movies like Rambo and stuff. It's like, no, these guys have big, big cities, a ton of infrastructure. You know, they're they're coming along in their own ways. So Xbox are trying to get a foothold in a lot of these areas. You know, I think it's I think it's pretty smart. And what else is smart is Xbox is teasing Ninja Theory's Hellblade two in a new rendered screenshot as a work in progress uh, for Sinus Sinu Sacrifice two. I don't know if you guys saw this, but every image they release of this damn game makes me want to play it even more. Like, it just looks so damn good, and people didn't think it would look all that great when they show gameplay, but it, it did so much so that people didn't believe it was gameplay. Uh, they confirmed it to be gameplay. Uh, so I, I have high hopes that a lot of this will look kind of similar to a lot of these screenshots and stuff that they're they're kind of teasing. And why would they tease something like this? Is Bonds here? I'm here. Say something, bitch. <laughs> so why would they tease? Why would they tease Hellblade like this, Vaughn? Are they going to give us some information uh, on something it, here it, soon? That, yeah, that that little image that they teased, it, you know, it, it looks great. Don't get me wrong, but it's just it's not enough. And I think that's because I, I think they're you teasing pessimist up bastard. To their, <laughs> their their showcase. I I, I think uh, during Xbox's showcase, they're going to show off some Hellblade too, and it's going to look amazing. Yeah. Oh, well, I feel like they're teasing. I feel like they're teasing a lot, right? Like they're not only teasing Hellblade, they're teasing Starfield in multiple freaking. Wow, well, come on! You know Starfield's like, going to be having its own freaking showcase going on. So I mean, I I get it, but at the same time, I'm saying like Xbox is just showing a lot of their games. Like they're just showing like Starfield, a lot of talks. Like usually, it's been like nothing until E3, nothing until XO, like nothing until this. Like, but. We keep getting these like little tidbits here and there every now and then about games. And I feel like developers are adjusting to just E3 not being around. And they're just kind of like, all right, well, we're just going to show when we want to show it. And so that's why it's just like up and down. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of cool. I enjoy like the little trickle, but I also I just want to see a big gameplay showcase of Hellblade like we got and see that like at E3 or wherever. What is it about some people out there who constantly push this narrative that uh, Starfield, when they do finally show it, it better be perfect. It better have zero bugs. It better look amazing. It better be the best looking day. I'm like, you better chill, delete them man. tweets. <laughs> why? Why? Why are people so hell bent on it being a perfect freaking game? It better be perfect, or else, <clears throat> dude. Uh, this game, we all know Bethesda to be the type of, of developers that don't really show their game until it's ready for them to show. And typically, they don't show them until that year launches anyway. Um, and, and, and in this case, it's the same deal. Uh, they've never swayed from that. So when it when they do show it at the showcase and it melts people's faces off with the cool gameplay and the things that you can do, um, then we could say, you know, I told you so. Like, just relax. And it's Todd and those guys are going to have to find a really good way to show the game off because it is one of those games that is so grand in scope. And just from hearing about it, you know, this name one ambitious game that was like doing shit that you never did before that um, just had this massive grand scope about it. That was a 95 meta. It's first time out. Like it reminds me of the game Spore when they were trying to literally, you know, do shit that had never been done before. And everyone expected the world of it. And it's so ambitious and doing different shit that, you know, it, it didn't. It didn't meet those expectations. So have reasonable expectations for a team that has a ton of experience doing a lot of cool things. And, you know, they're trying to push the envelope, they're trying to do new things. And they're trying to combine, I think, a few different ideas from a, a few different games, some of them their own. I mean, mm -hmm. it's no reason to be down on the game at all. I mean, if it comes in at a high 80, you know, that's, that's great. Everybody, everybody, everybody's yeah. afraid that it's going to be a cyberpunk. I'm stuck everybody's in this part of the game right now. Be, like, I'm just saying, like, people are afraid of, like, cyberpunk and all that like it's going to come out buggy as hell or just not finished because the expectations are so high and it's just not going to meet them like i get like the the you know people being afraid but at the same time like you know be excited games come out like elden ring just came out and it was fucking amazing like one of the and, best and games it, ever I've, made i i've been saying it all along too expect some bugs uh you know bethesda has never dropped a game without bugs uh and you know, I'm not well, expecting Tesla. anything ga game breaking or anything, and I'm not saying expect that because you should never want that. You should never want really bugs anyway. But <laughs> I'm sure there might be some bugs there, and you know, it, it it is what it is. But what they have done is always release their games on time. Fallout Three, Fallout Four, Skyrim, they've all been launched on time. So when they put that date out there, they're serious about that date. Um, I was talking with Colt about this, and and basically. 
he's under the impression they may have delayed the game internally. Yeah, um, I wouldn't even put that you know, out there. Beforehand. No, 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 no. But what I'm saying is, like, you know, they're not going to come out and say, state a date if they're not confident on that date. Yeah. It may have been, been a game they could have put out, you know, they wanted to put out last year, but internally they never put out a date. So they said, well, we'll wait till next year. But I'm just saying, Bethesda, if they put out a date, that's when it's coming out. So I'm sick of hearing that too. People saying it's going to get delayed. Watch, it's going to get delayed. I mean, that's even what let's say it does get fucking delayed. No, it's, not it's like delayed. it's like uh, let's say it did, which I don't think it will. Let's say it did. Who gives a shit? That means they're going to try to give us a game that's actually fucking done. Of it's, course, it's, it's much of like God of War Ragnarok, Horizon Zero Dawn, Grand Tour. Know, there's so many games that have been delayed. It's a good thing because you know there's no such thing as a bad game delay. Yeah, you got to get you know you got to you got to sit back exactly. for a little longer, but at least it's going to be a better product. If Dying exactly. Light Two came out two months later, as shitty as some of the story and the fucking grappling that's hook is. <laughs> No, the co-op That's would work. The fucking, fucking resolution would have been twice as high in the same in the sixty FPS mode. Like, you know, mm-hmm. hey, it would have been a better experience from day one. So that's all you can really count on. It. I just want the game to be done. And yeah. uh, you know, hey, from Starfield on, we should be getting uh, some some good releases like soon, like kind of one after the other every quarter. Yeah, or fucking, yeah. we fucking we fucking better be. <laughs> I, I, think that should be the, I think that should be the start of their rotations with their new games coming to Game Pass and all that. I think Starfield should be the start of that. <laughs> Fonz is so toxic. <laughs> yeah, I Splendid am. Difference. Toxic. He's just fucking with you. Uh, shout out to Timmy, Splendid Difference, Chris uh, Siglato, Siglato uh, Crazy Louie's in the chat, Dark CMF. Um, uh, yeah, Others Inc., shout out to you, buddy. Uh, Zach, you want to grab the Super Chats real quick and we can kind of move on? Yeah, let me scroll up. Super chats. Super chats. I don't have any. Oh, wait, no, I do. Uh, we got <laughs> Biff Rinaldi. He says, getting so hyped for Great Starfield. Uh, we also have uh, Garuda Intruda. He says, I live in the future. Tomorrow's news. Musk bans the word hashtag Game Pass on Twitter. Ends console war. Great show. We'll try to be more active here. <laughs> Thanks. This guy <laughs> loves it right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Danny Fashion Dealer. Read. Slurpee. <laughs> oh Danny Passion yeah. Dealer, read my emoji like last time. Fire, 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 thumbs up, etc. Happy face, happy face. And then uh, Richie, <laughs> shout out to you, Richie Tori. He says, eight, uh, eight, <laughs> what does he say? Oh, S slash zero to all the Xbox fans. Glasses up. Uh, this success didn't come easy, so congrats. Yeah, I mean, definitely. It's all based on feedback, 100%. And then uh, yeah, it's a lot of these you didn't get. Kalentis, shout out to you. I can't see them. He said, baby carrots confirmed as playable in bug snacks. Xbox exclusive. Yeah, I mean, hey, he's going to have a carrot, head, carrot, carrot hands, hands. Grub Nurse member for 12 months. He says, sound like Ubisoft uh, puts this out each year to boost their share prices. You know, that's a good point, Scrub Nurse. Eve Guillermo, is he still there? Whatever. His replacement is like, yeah, we're going to pretend like we're being sold and I know they have been dodging corporate takeovers, though. I mean, they've been clinging on. Uh, every damn year, he says they do this, though, to try to boost the share prices. This is a good point. That could be happening. Brigader says, honestly, uh, he says, honestly, I didn't make a full, uh, oh, he didn't meet a full on remake for a game. If it's been a while, it's IE OG Xbox PS2 era. Further back games, um, he says, let new generation of games play him. Yeah, I mean, Hey, I, I don't disagree. I, I don't agree because I do have certain games I would say I want uh, I want those remasters on or remakes on. But they're very far and few between. And then Achievement, shout out to you. He says 4, 14% hardware growth with 6% service growth. Man, uh, that every three series sold one Game Pass sub. I mean, that's a pretty impressive ratio as well. And then I think... Yep, I looks got like it. Looks like August MPDs are on lock. Dark CBS is D, D ordering Slurpees at Burger King since ni- since nineteen eighty six. I think you got that. He gave away a copy of two K twenty one. Shout out to everyone in the chat. Uh, as I try to multitask furiously here, let's go. Ahead. I was going to go over to Sony job listing that just basically reconfirms everything we literally said like four or four and a half years ago. Uh, they're hiring a PC strategy motherfucker is going to be doing some shit and blah blah blah. I don't give. And a- there's a code. Yeah, uh, code for what? Dark CMF. Uh, NBA 2K? Uh, he just yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Shout out to Dark CMF. 
if you guys end up playing 2K22, let me know. We can we can play some team up. But yeah, I mean, hey, the, Sony's job listing, PC marketing strategy. They, you know, basically they allude it's, to the fact that they're going to have their own store. I don't know if you guys saw this. Yep, I saw it. Uh, so, like I said, we we heard that they were going to have their own store. It just didn't release when we heard that it might release. But uh, apparently, they're going to be having their own store. They're not looking to give any revenue to anybody because they know that on PC, hey, God of War is going to sell. And if you can only get it on their launcher, you're going to get it on their launcher if you want to play it, you know. Oh, and if you don't want boy. to, then just don't play it, whatever. Uh, but, yeah, I don't want to go into all that because the show's kind of getting long as fuck and it's time to about go. But, hey, new Xbox Game Pass or Game Studios project, uh, new Xbox Game Studio Japan is working on a... A uh, truly ground groundbreaking project for Xbox. We are working with top class developers. Oh. Well, what the hell could this uh, Xbox Team Studio Japan project be there, Tim Dom? Fuck you, Tim Dom. Hey, an Xbox uh, I don't, right sh- now. Uh, shut up, Fog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, uh, no I, I think uh, this is one of the one of the code names. Uh, of, you know, I, I don't know what the game could be. But um, it's, the Xbox supposedly. Has... I know that you don't know what the game could be. I'm just saying, like, it's, you know, just throw something out there. Maybe speculate. Give us your thoughts. Xbox Game Studios Japan. You know, they're uh, they're trying to launch some some natively J- Japanese content on Xbox. That's good. That's good. Yeah, they need that. They need that. They, you know, I don't know if it's going to be a JRPG. That would be would be really good. But it could be cloud based. That's what because, I think. You know, it could be cloud based. I think you're gonna start to see some of those games prop up. You know, they have this uh uh division with um Kim Swift that they're running and uh it's like trying to push the envelope and use the cloud in certain ways and, and even Satya talked about it in his uh in his address today, um and when he talked about Xbox. They're saying finding new ways, better ways to game through the cloud. So it is a focus. So I'm going to say it's something with that and uh, using the cloud and and some type of technology to make games different and better. And I love that Xbox is doing this. And um, it is a risk because, uh, you know, this this might never pan out. You saw what happened with Crackdown 3 or Crackdown, uh, yeah, Crackdown 3. Crackdown 3, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's it's a risk, but I love the, the one of the reasons why I love Xbox is is because they take chances like this and they are definitely going to have some games that, you know, are going to, you know, be different and use the cloud and its utilities to their advantage. So, I'm going to go on a, a you know, a limb and say that's what this is and uh we should be seeing it soon. That's good. Yeah. Hey, shout out to uh, uh, Purple Tree Frog, by the way. He says he won the copy, one of the copies of 2K. Anytime yeah. you guys win the game codes, definitely let us know in the chat, guys. Uh, we want to give you a shout out if you actually got to the code quicker than D-Bash on F5. Yeah, let me let me just add to what Tim said there. I think it's I think it's going to be cloud based. I think personally, for Microsoft to get to, to for Microsoft to take a foothold. <laughs> For Microsoft to take a football in away. Japan, they have to. Uh, I think they have to do. They have to do some cloud gaming. I think that's going to get that market excited. That market has a lot of mobile users, and I think that's a way they could get their foothold there. I just want to touch a little bit on that job, that Sony job listing that you just kind of glanced over before. Because we've already like I, tackled all that stuff and said it was going to happen well, like literally half a I decade know. ago. Yeah, no, I just want to add something to it. The um, Nvidia leak from the hackers. When they got in there and they data mined everything, every single Sony exclusive was listed oh, coming yeah. on their PC, okay? The only games that were not on there was Spider-Man, uh, like the next iteration of Spider-Man and Wolverine. And the only reason why I think they weren't on that list was probably the time that this was submitted to NVIDIA. You know, I, I just think it's a timing thing because all those other games were on there except for those games, and I just think it was a timing thing. But even so... That would only be two games that Sony has that aren't coming to PC. So they're all coming to it's, PC. It's a matter of time. They're, they're, they're all coming to PC. And personally, like I said before, if they want to compete with Game Pass, they're going to have to put these games in there sooner or later. Uh, and yeah, that's I just wanted to touch on that. That's all. <laughs> hey, uh, Zach, are you alive? Yeah, I'm here, bro. Say something, bitch. You a bitch. Hey, uh, Fire Shadow has a super chat. 
And then we can, uh, I got a pull up, by the way, as well. If, you, if you're excited for Xbox Japan Project, let us know. 17% of you say no. Yep. Fire, Sh- Fire Shadow says, fist bump to RDX panel nearly two years into the gen. The series consoles are running on half a cylinder with block turbos. RDNA 2 features <laughs> are wasted. Yep, shout uh, out to us. Uh, but hey, guess what? That's all capability that we've uh, we've known was there. I mean, it's got to be leveraged, man, just like we've always said. So uh, eventually these developers will start to uh, stop pulling punches and, and really start to pump out some stuff that leverages some of these next generation features, right? But hey, we yep. gotta we gotta we gotta go and, and call it quits for tonight, guys. Uh, shout out to everyone in the chat. Almost thirteen hundred people tonight. We appreciate you very much and all of the you know all the thoughts you guys had to add. Again, shout out to the channel members, patrons doing game giveaways around the fifth of every month. Uh, I'll be updating patron community tab here and Discord uh, and around that time. So expect some giveaways and stuff like that. We'll do some new Discord channels for maybe some gaming stuff and all that stuff. So. Just, uh, again, let us know your thoughts. Hit the like button if you didn't, and tell a buddy or two about the show. We appreciate it. We're going to do some outros. And, uh, hey, d tell people what you've been playing and where can people find you. Yeah, like I alluded to at the beginning of the show, finally got to play W2K on uh, on the Xbox. I've been playing a lot of that on the PC, so now the Xbox. Uh, you guys can catch me on Twitter at D underscore Batch. And of course, on YouTube as D-Batch this week, I think I'm going to start talking about the new Samsung QD OLED that everybody is going crazy about. It was a good show, and uh, see you guys next week. Definitely. Uh, shout out to Monkey Punch as well, uh, Gaming Forte, all you guys. Uh, Fonzarelli, brother, what are you even playing? Where can people find you? Oh, well, they could find me at Fonzarelli Gaming. Shut up, Fonz! <laughs> Oh man! Oh, Thanks a lot, Tim. Anyways, you, you uh, already have that already recorded. Wow! Damn, that was fast. <laughs> Shut up, Fox! <laughs> oh my god! Now we know what anyway, he was doing right? instead of answering the questions. No, 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 no! It just it, it just happened. Uh, anyways, uh, I just want to say uh, thanks everybody uh, for coming out in the chat. You guys are always awesome. You can find me at Fonzarelli Gaming, and uh, hopefully uh, I'll be there Sunday for Games Talk Live. So Who you got on? PM, uh, Pacific Standard Time. I don't have a guess right now. I'm 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 in the process of trying to get somebody, oh. and I need to hear back. Yeah, D Batch keeps turning you down. Uh, chat pressure, D Batch. Yeah, he's playing Mr. Hollywood. Hey, you know, D, you should come on the show and go live on camera, man. You have a presence, man. He does. D already bailed. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's gone. Done. I'm done. Hey, shut yeah, up. I mean, I'm done. Heard you. <laughs> shut you. up, Fox. <laughs> what? I, I'm probably gonna do. I'll probably do a camera reveal in the summertime. So let's talk then. Zonka uh, is a toddler. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. We'll definitely talk. Hey, shout out to Boba Fett. It's your boy Boba here. He says I'm all pro consumerism when it comes to when it comes to Japanese Slurpees. I'm not sure what that means, sir, but I'm glad you're pro consumerism. Uh, hey, we've also got XCloud Tin Dog brother. What are you even playing, and where can people find you? I've been playing Madden, and I also got the new Legos game, that Star Wars thing. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, you know, just uh, same old, same old. XCloud Tim Dog on Twitter. Pretty good uh, Pretty good week. And when the hell are we going to get the show announcement? That's the next big thing. I know, hopefully, right? <laughs> hopefully soon. You know, I, you know I'm here, and it's going to be another digital event, but, you know. They, uh, they, the last time they talked about it last year, I think it was May 26th. So we could be in for a little bit of a wait. All right. Well, uh, All right. hopefully we get Show. that news sooner than later. And uh, definitely follow Tim on Twitter. He's uh, always tweeting the word Starfield. I don't know if you actually still do that. but it... No, I do. But... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, shout out to 195 people that voted on uh, the poll as well. 81% of you were excited for the... The project. I didn't leave the poll very long, but hey, you guys get the you get the point. Uh, we've also got Zalker. He said, "Well, you've been playing, buddy, and where can people find you?" So, everybody, thanks, Chef, for having us. You know, you guys again. Always the reason why we're here is because of you. Um, yeah, you guys can find me on Twitter, Zalker eighty seven, and YouTube, Zalker eighty seven. And I've been playing Sea of Thieves a shit ton, Apex Legends. I'm almost platinum again. I I put that game down for like what, like two years or a year and a half, and so been playing that a lot, having a lot of fun. Uh, played the playing the Lego, Lego Star Wars <laughs> Lego Skywalker Star Wars. saga Lego Star Wars. Uh, the Lego Star Wars game, which is actually pretty fun. Been playing that with my fiance, and then been playing uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla on my own. Um, a shit ton. 
Um, that's a lot of fun. It's a good game. I mean, you know, it's a lot more forgiving than Elden Ring. I, I like get hit by somebody. I'm like, fuck. Oh, never mind. I'm all right. <laughs> like, I just like, it's like, you know, you kind of have that mindset of like, I can't get hit or you got to do this. And, you know, it's a lot more forgiving and fun and, you know, just, you know, just kind of mindless. It's uh, it's cool. So yeah, that's what I've been playing a shit ton of. And I'm just looking forward to, uh, honestly, the next game is I want Sniper Elite 5 coming to Game Pass. Mm -hmm. I want to play that. I liked Sniper Elite. I like those type of games. So, and it's, you know, World War II. So I'm so fucking down. So yeah, it's the next game I'm kind of looking forward to. Yeah. Uh, May 20. Wait. Like, yeah, like May 20th or something. 24th, like 21st I think. Or something. Or 27th. Yeah, 20th. something like that. Uh, but yeah, Fall of Zalker, I covered that in my last video. One of, one of the four or five topics or however many I had in the video. Uh, some new Game Pass stuff hitting Game Pass Day 1. Xbox has seven Day 1 Game Pass games in May. Uh, so check out that last video if you guys haven't checked it out. Uh, and uh, also I go in on a uh, complete idiot that uh, tried to get Aaron Greenberg in a gotcha moment. Statue of Limitations, bitch! And uh, oh also, uh, definitely, guys, follow me on Twitter at dealer underscore gaming, ii space dealer space ii on Xbox Live. And again, you know, if you haven't checked out the last video, all that good stuff, I got several videos up. But uh, yeah, we uh, we're dead, and the topics are through. And uh, yeah, we'll leave it to we'll leave it to you guys. Uh, let us know your thoughts. I'm sleepy. It's sleepy. And let us know your thoughts. Again, Alan Wake running on Xbox Series X, the remaster, remake, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. A remedy right. game acting's bad, voiceovers bad, stories you know bad, but the game you know the gameplay was pretty good, man. It's not you bad. You kind of described the Batman. I described your face. <laughs> hey, uh, anyway, uh, we're gonna get out of here. We will uh, see you guys next week. Later, everybody. Peace. It's a wrap. Later. It's, it's Fawn's already <laughs> gone. He's Later. Already gone. Later. Later. Everybody, like people, Later. just leave right when their outros are over. Slurpee. Sl Dude, I want to order a Slurpee. Slurpee. Fucking died. <laughs>